transforming power of the Holy Spirit. Miracles, signs, wonders, deliverance, and breakthrough. As the servant of God, Apostle Joshua Selman brings you God's word with accuracy and the power. power, power, power. Hallelujah. Let's hold our hands together and pray in the spirit. Lord, we bless you. Make contact with someone. Let's pray in the spirit. Let's bless the way maker. Are you praying? Please pray inside, outside. Shapro kato sala brende gete ko shada braha sada balakata preteges shigete barada balada bush. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From everlasting to everlasting, your name and your name alone be praised. Mighty God. Shabo sate la hashara brandis gere bahara kutus. Shada bradaga sada bala kutus. Hallelujah. I'd like you to pray for your neighbor and say, Father, visit my neighbor in a radical way tonight. Let your heart be open, let your faith be lifted. Are you praying? Gabara go to secrets. for yourself. Lord, I will never return the way I came. Lift your voice and pray. Give me an encounter tonight. It is my service. gathered here tonight because we believe you we believe you are the son of god we believe you are all powerful we believe that it is within your power to provide supernatural solutions so lord we are here in our multitudes expectant open believing ready to receive oh god i pray that none of us will go back disappointed in the name of jesus christ let your word come with fire tonight in the name of jesus christ grant us testimonies beyond our imagination in the name of jesus god bless you good evening please greet one or two people and you may be seated welcome to our first miracle service for the year the lord bless you in jesus name hallelujah those outside can you shout a loud hallelujah praise the lord the bible says the shouts of joy and victory 
will not depart from the tent of the righteous i'll share a few things with us and then we'll pray we have a lot to do tonight and i trust god in this year of extraordinary fruitfulness that he truly will grant us grace to produce results in the name of jesus christ let's start tonight with matthew 28 matthew chapter 28 it's important that when you come to the house of god you come with a bible at the least you should have your bible on your phone or whatever device you have but at least you should come with a bible make it a habit to come with a bible and something to write even if it's to type on your phone or your electronic devices don't just put your hands in your pocket and come to the house of the lord and revelations continue to come that can change you but then you are not able to preserve when he showed john these revelations he said right for these words are faithful and true matthew chapter 28 i'll read from verse 18 to 20. jesus left us what we call and know to be the great commission he started with the 11 disciples but by extension is a mandate and is a command that is for every believer 18 says and jesus came and spake unto them saying all power some versions use authority the word there is exousia authority all authority in heaven and in earth is given to me go ye therefore i like the account of matthew go ye therefore and teach not just go and witness go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit 20 he emphasizes again teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you and lo i am with you always even to the end of the world so we are given a mandate please listen everyone we are given a mandate not only to evangelize but to mentor nations to teach nations are we together part of the great commission is not just to win souls but to disciple them discipleship is a system of mentorship that causes you to conform to the life and the character of the mentor so we are mandated by god to not only evangelize like make sure that their eternal destinies are secured but to go a step further he says teaching all nations we are mandated to disciple nations the word nation there does not just mean physical geographic territories alone it also means fears of influence are we together that we should take the message the life and the power of jesus to every sphere of influence and we should teach them to observe everything we have been taught he taught them certain things the secrets of the kingdom and he said take this truth to the nations teach them mentor them bring people to a point where they are not only saved but they are matured discipled are we together now it's very important to disciple nations means that certain things must be at work in your own life to qualify you to disciple nations i, I just wanted to start on this note number one to be able to disciple nations you must be a model a representation of god's intention for the people that means that you disciple people when you become what you want them to be are we together now yes if you want to disciple career people then you must sustain an ability to be excellent you must rise to the zenith the pinnacle of your career pursuit that way you become a model and a reference enough worthy 
to be emulated are we together if god is sending you to disciple people in ministry you must excel in a way and a manner that is both supernatural and is worthy of emulation if god is sending you to mentor people in the area of finances you're not going to mentor them being poor and hoping to be blessed you must become an epistle of what you want them to be are we together now so discipling nations would require that we become models epistles we become the points of reference so that the people can have an idea transformation is easy when there is a reference it's difficult to transform people if there is no reference if you want people to prosper by god you have to trust god to prosper yourself so that you become a model if you think there is an imbalance with finances for instance then become the correct model of it then it's easy for them to cut away from the imbalances are we together if you want to model the anointing removing the excesses then become it it is easy for people to become when there is a reference imagine trying to dress yourself and there is no mirror there you don't know what to adjust you don't know what to correct but when there is a mirror and better still a photo of what you are trying to look like then you will know what to adjust appropriately so you must be a model number two you must become a force and influence you will never be able to disciple nations if you are not a force are we together a force is an ability that can provoke change you must be a force a voice you must be an influence that means you must sustain the ability to cause men to buy into your ideologies is god helping us if you are not a model you are not a force you are not an influence then the perspectives of god communicated to you will never spread to the nation and the region that you are sent let me tell you this this already means that if you love god and you truly want to see his glory fill the earth then it is important for you to find out the area that he wants you to mentor nations in and begin to contend for results in that area for yourself that's why we came are we together now yes if god is sending you to be a pastor of pastors to teach people the proper way of building and equipping the saints you're not going to do that with a small and weak and disorganized church you yourself not obtaining results let me tell you this i have grown to respect the power of results say results it is true that the end of all arguments is results there is always room for contention when there are no results and so when the bible god speaking by jesus mandating us to disciple nations the approach we are taking now is very difficult because we seldom have the results that we propose to the people are we together so i think the better approach is to not be in a hurry to reach them but to be patient enough to have the level of result that is undeniable incontestable and you can win a nation within a day this is the strategy for as long as we continue to propose things that our lives have not captured we will find out that the people will have legitimate reasons to doubt so we are here tonight not just because of ourselves to say lord a b c this area does not have sufficient result to let people see you in and through me and i'm here in this miracle service trusting you like naman although i'm a captain of the syrian army i'm a valiant warrior but this other side step in for me is someone with me tonight all power there is a reason why he said all authority because witnessing will require authority it will require a basis for results we are not going to suggest to nations we are not going to step into systems and structures and just suggest we will need to influence the system to come in with something that works almost everyone here 
has or has used a phone and almost everyone here is not using the phone he or she is using as the first phone is that true that when the mobile devices came out and got to Africa we had all kinds of models that we now consider inferior what made us leave it they didn't force you they brought out something and showed you the excellency of that new gadget and it forced you to carry your own money and go to the market and insist that although I have a 5,000 Naira phone I have been dissatisfied because someone showed me something that the phone I have cannot browse and so it does not sustain an advantage to connect me to the world from where I am and I have someone marketed another phone and it will make me hate something I once loved results are powerful they challenge people to change their minds results can make a man change his mind it is true come see a man the woman said at the well come see a man that has told me that means she had the ability to repent it's just that everyone who met her did not have enough result to convince her most people are not rebels the level of result it takes to persuade them is absent in our lives did you hear what i just said most people are not rebels most people who don't go to church are not that hardened we have not communicated a dimension of the life the power the grace and the possibilities of the kingdom enough to make them want it and so we minister christ from a standpoint of extreme weakness and disadvantage it's not force enough to draw people is god speaking to us now most of your family members let me tell you this for many of us it looks very difficult to reach your family members because you look at the hardness of their heart and wonder how will i break this ground let me tell you something if god mandated you to reach them then you need to find out lord what can convince these people enough for five thousand men aside from women and children to climb up a mountain and stay three days without worrying for what to eat the parents were not irresponsible jesus must have done something to them that even made food unnecessary and he took responsibility and said look i have to feed them because i'm sure part of the many things he taught them was the responsibility that comes when you become part of the fold of god and he said i have to prove what i just said so don't dismiss them that way and the disciples said you've put us in trouble now these people we we have wet their appetite and they expect a performance and jesus said that's all right and they got the young lad andrew brought a young boy with five loaves and two fish jesus said watch something now do you know immediately they ate it what was their response we will make you king whoever can feed us every day without begging caesar deserves to be our king no election could it be that this is why politics is hard in africa and nigeria a people came together and said jesus you must be king and jesus said i know it's because you ate bread but at least they were honest who will throw away a bread giver free to the point that 12 baskets were gathered i was once hungry now i'm so full i just look at the bread you will have to be king the same thing will happen in your family regard listen listen regardless of your all these um firstborn second boy is wonderful in terms of respect and honor but in terms of kingdom advance whoever has the ability to reveal jesus in a way and a manner that solves the needs of the people must be made king even if it is joseph the sun the moon and the eleven stars will bow they don't bow to age they bow to whoever if the sun and the moon bows then the person they are bowing to what is he that means he's neither the sun he's neither the moon he's neither the star what is the name of that person that the sun will bow to the moon will bow for 
this is the mandate of jesus it's not just to carry a tract and meet someone and harass him and while he looks at you and then you are done and you present a very miserable jesus he will ask you one question you cannot answer he said let me let me go and ask god he said but i thought he sent you either we are telling lies and just carrying out the ritual of religiosity or we truly want to disciple nations let me tell you where the carcasses are truly there the eagles work human beings have real problems they are not idiots except they don't find real answers they will inconvenience themselves to any level when men complain they are not complaining because of you they are using you to complain that there is not result enough to keep them in the days of the generals by 2 a.m for a service of six or seven people will gather there and not mind whether it is the sun or the moon or rain or whatever because they knew one encounter with these strange beings that were not like human beings their lives would change most of the people that knew the generals met them only once they didn't meet them many times but now we can be pastors over people for 10 years and nobody can reproduce our grace and you expect them to still be loyal people are not stupid my brothers and my sisters are we together disciple nations not by drumming people's faces and harassing them where the carcasses are there the eagles will gather no atm ever called your name once yet you cannot resist it when you pass and you see an atm even if you don't have money you have respect for it because of what is inside i watch people queue before something that is not a living thing and they are patient for a long time what if you are that atm that is the same way gentiles will come It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be exalted above every other mountain and above every other hill. Listen, and the nation to say, come, let us go, let us go. They were not invited. They are advising themselves, come, let us go to the house of the Lord. He said, there he will teach us his ways. For out of Zion shall proceed the law. It's time for us to mentor nations with our results. Are we together now yes that the greatest businessman in zaria is a tongue-talking anointed christian everybody that needs him will follow him to church without invitation and sit down whether they like it or not that's how to mentor nations when you see someone who has what you are looking for rolling before god whether you know why or not you will start rolling first before you understand why he's rolling we are too weak to make jesus powerful and this is what we want to correct tonight listen let me tell you this there is nothing you can do with a man or a people that become a force when you have results real results replicable results it is impossible for a territory to deny your presence here's what Jesus said teaching in what we call the Beatitudes the principles of the kingdom he says you are the light of the world you are the salt of the earth he says you are a city not like a city a city that is set on a hill how can a city be on a hill men whom the earth was not worthy of a city set on a hill giving light men will light that candle and put it on top of a bush for a very long time pastors have made the church weak because they don't know what else to do when they are not saved they are the weakest in every society they are the poorest they are the whatever it is under the spirit of servitude within a territory i reject that for koinonia in the name of jesus christ that you are able to disciple and mentor nations 
God is giving us influence and granting us grace and when that influence comes people will be able to listen to you you will say the same thing now that you said five years ago and people will cry hearing you not because more anointing was added to it more results is now backing what you are saying the same thing you said before are we together now yes everything they say about you is correct until your results prove otherwise everything if they say your god is weak they are right until your results prove otherwise hearing is my father glorified 15 and verse 8 john hearing brothers and sisters let us not be hypocrites for god's sake this is how god is glorified when ye bear much fruit when ye bear much fruit when ye bear much fruit my mother and my father when your children become the best and the most influential people within a city and are madly in love with god they will influence more people within a year than you will do holding a crusade in 10 years everybody is seeking for someone to reference his life after that's why we chase after musicians that's why we go online searching for people when people show certain things that we want even if we know they are lying we still follow them if someone decides to wear rags today if you see the money he has close to the rags tomorrow you too since you don't have the money you can start with the rags at least you can tear your cloth to look like it to give you hope that you will become like him we are making nonsense marketable because there is no result to back it i vow to myself and i vow before my god that i will never be a weak representative of the kingdom by every standard as far as the territories are located for my my spiritual impact is concerned we will have to do something for god that will make god beat his chest and say truly i have sons upon the earth that's why we are here that's why we are here and many times you will think that these things are just boastful statements no when a man speaks you need to look at the force back in him if it is your ability whether intellectual physical whatever then you are wasting your time but the power of the highest mary said how shall these things be seen that i know not a man and the angel said the power of the highest will overshadow you are we together now the mandate of jesus it's not more members the mandate of Jesus is not a greater name for a ministry the mandate of Jesus is not more people in a register the mandate of Jesus is not more slaves loyal to a man called a man of God the mandate of Jesus is that there will be people who understand the kingdom and love him and understand his system to be able to mentor and disciple nations your nation must look up to you otherwise you have failed if it's business if it's ministry if it's family whatever it is go and make disciples go and make disciples go and make disciples go and make disciples not go and have denominations go and make disciples That you should not give room for any unbeliever within your territory to hold a level of influence that will have to make you bend to God to receive their resources. No, sir. This is a message that the devil has fought for many years. And so many believers, especially we around the northern middle belt and part of the, we, we, we are not kingdom and we are not strategic in our understanding. We are morally sound, bless God. We love the Lord with all our heart, bless God. But we find out that our lives are empty, void of spiritual meaning because we do not know what else to do so we seek god we love him we become anointed we even fall under the anointing but to what end was that anointing given we don't know so we roam around and hope that the mundane things that we spend our lives on will give us meaning nothing else has the ability to give your life meaning than knowing that you are living your life according to purpose and that it is giving joy to the father 
in a few minutes from now we are going to be celebrating dimensions of the hand of god the miracles of god you know why we are doing this because we know that first we love the people but second it is a testament that's why it matters when unbelievers hear what god is doing when believers hear what God is doing, thank God for it. But the real impact is that what God is doing gets to the ears of the unbelievers because it will compel them. Are we together now? You are gathered here tonight first because you love God. He brought you. But quite honestly, because you are trusting God for various levels of supernatural solutions. People have been here since monday tuesday wednesday families groups ministries people have traveled endured all kinds of things because someone told you or you heard it in a message that if you came here your life and your situation will change did you think they lied sit back and watch what god does with your life in a few minutes from now. So, that when you leave this place and go back as a man of god you will be surprised yourself the next time you see you will not come alone you will be too grateful to come alone when a mother comes here and sees what god does to her she will remember immediately that my stubborn neighbor's son that means they always wanted him change it's just that they had been looking for a place anointed enough to make them let me tell you i still say it again and again i thank god for posters i thank god for handbills please i'm in no way trying to demean them but nothing will cover the publicity that real power and real result creates people are too grateful rumors spread in overnight nobody paid for it and yet it goes round that's the same way the word of the Lord can come upon you ah, I came for koinonia a program called the miracle service I just strolled there and my life changed overnight madam the next one is next month I don't have money you, you better look for money and you see people run around and come and receive and so our own assignment is to continue to stay with God to make sure that everybody that comes you take a level of fire that like Queen of Sheba you say half of this was not told me if we are not doing this this is just jamboree and a ceremony and a sin and wickedness because when people pay so much price and leave wherever they come from to come and sit down and then we entertain and make all kinds of noise and jargons and they they go back again with the same pain we've wasted their time and we cause the heart of the father to bleed we make miracle walk promise keep light in the darkness my God that is who you are we make a miracle walk promise keep I've not even touched what I wanted to share as the message for tonight this year your life will change in the name of Jesus Christ this year your life will change by the power of the Holy Spirit it's true let those who laugh at you Ephesians chapter 3 please let me have your attention I want to share with you a powerful revelation that God put in my heart for this meeting and then we will pray mighty God we bless you Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 the Bible says now unto him please look up the Lord has been pounding this scripture in my heart and I need to teach you and show you and make sure that you get it as a revelation now unto him that is able to do everybody say able to do 
exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think everybody say ask or think one more time say ask or think that means there are two ways listen carefully your petitions and requests get to God number one is through your prayer by verbalizing it number two is through your thinking your paradigm also is a prayer request it sends prayers to heaven the Bible says God will do what you ask or think not ask and think that means when you are not praying and you are thinking you are still praying before God your mouth and your mind are also prayer warriors the only thing is that for many of us our mouths are better prayer warriors than our minds most times our minds pray nonsense and that's why you find out that the things that you desire you may not see the results that are consistent with your desires because there are two prayer warriors in your life one is your mouth let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart both be acceptable that means the words of my mouth can be acceptable but the meditations of my heart can cancel everything he is able to do listen carefully exceeding abundantly far above all i ask far above all i think it matters it matters that the word of god does not just penetrate our spirits alone the word of god must have an effect listen carefully you will never be a world changer you will never be usable in the hand of god until the word of god is able to influence your understanding influence you we're talking about fruitfulness you will never be fruitful this year just because a prophetic word came as powerful as it is you can limit god your mouth may be praying because you are told to pray but your mind continues to make your destiny unfruitful listen very carefully most of the miracles that we need i submit to you most of the miracles that we need are in the realm of our understanding and the realm of the mind much more than physical miracles we need a real miracle of a reconstructed understanding to be able to know god's perspectives this is the secret of victory this is how we win in this kingdom that's why the preaching and the teaching of the word is very important because they are the spiritual systems are located for bringing understanding when the word is preached and taught generally it brings you into a comprehension it influences your understanding and when your mind listen when your mind changes then truly your life will change it's true You are not truly free until your mind is free no matter what else around you is free if your mind is under captivity then you are really in bondage are we together let me show you something a revelation that god gave me for tonight luke chapter 4 we are reading five verses luke chapter 4 we'll start from verse 14 luke chapter 4 this is jesus now luke chapter 4 and verse 14 after his time of fast and prayer the bible says and jesus returned in the power of the spirit into galilee and there went out a fame of him through the region round about 15. and he taught in their synagogues you see jesus was a teacher he was a teacher he wanted to give people understanding 90 percent of his ministry was teaching 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 he built the disciples by teaching the impartations happen few times most of their encounters was the teaching ministry of Jesus that's how they became apostles the Bible says being glorified of all 16 let me have your attention now and he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read he's about to read Isaiah 61 now listen and there was delivered to him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He 
they have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised just keep 18 see how many times the various issues required preaching there were three main issues in the ministry of Jesus that the solution was hidden in preaching not doing preaching number one very quickly that every time you met a poor man the solution lied in doing something to his mind the Bible says he had anointed me to preach not just to give to the poor he had anointed me to do something to their minds because the issue whether it is some version say meek it doesn't matter no matter how you see it it still requires preaching so when you see someone in a financial predicament god's recommendation is that that person is not yet free until the word of god is able to do something to his mind otherwise that person will remain in bondage how true bless someone who is poor in his mind a thousand times his mind will turn his life back to look like his mind when it has to do with the poor the secret to really helping them is to camp them under the wisdom of God's word and the Bible says to preach the gospel to the poor the next sets of people that require preaching amazing amazing this is where the apostolic and prophetic ministry in many regards has failed woefully the next set of those who require preaching are those who are captive in need of deliverance it didn't say to conduct deliverance it said to preach deliverance that means much more than driving the spirit entity in their lives and around their situations jesus is saying they are not truly free until deliverance is preached to them listen to my teaching the mystery of deliverance i call this deliverance through transformation that your mind is reoriented again to have spiritual understanding that keeps the door closed one of the things and and i thank god that this is a ministry that believes in the whole counsel of god shortly we are going to be praying casting out devils and just taking away these influences that stand the way of people but then the bible says that the journey to deliverance will continue being a cycle a helpless cycle to the point that it becomes a mockery until the preaching dimension not the laying hands dimension not the prophecy dimension the preaching dimension there is something that must be captured in your deliverance message that affects the minds not just the spirits and the bodies of men otherwise these spirits will make a mockery of you they will leave the people and return back because their mindsets have become strongholds the spirits have created fortifications around their thinking that will allow the spirit come back again are we together to preach deliverance not just to conduct deliverance I admit to you that it is here that the apostolic and the prophetic ministry in many regards has failed because of the charismatism that is around ministering to people seeing someone fall roll under the anointing you know when that happens it looks like it's an accolade on you as the man of god and so we enjoy it no matter how many times you must go through that rigor i'm satisfied provided it helps in making me shine but the bible is saying by and large the delivery will be tired <laughs> permit me my english that person is not going to except if it's a fresh impartation and the person must know the new grace that is different from last week's falling there's a lot of mess in the body of christ demons continue to make mockery of our ignorance many people are permanent gateways for the entry and the exit of spirits it was jesus himself that carried out the demonology lecture he didn't give anybody he handled that course by himself and this is what he taught us remember when jesus talks you listen he says when a spirit leaves a man that means spirits can leave men we know that apostles and prophets we god has helped us in that area we know how to make spirits leave men 
but the bible says that spirit will go through dry regions seeking for a place of refuge are we together now and then the bible says not finding a place of refuge here's what the spirit will say remember the person had been delivered now and he's jumping in the church and he's happy hallelujah doors are opening and the spirit is saying i'm coming back the spirit is saying i will go back like the prodigal son the prodigal son said, I will arise and go back to my father. The spirit says, I will arise and go back to my house. He's calling the person who had been delivered my house. That means he's still, he's still laying claims. He comes back according to Jesus and finds the house swept clean but empty. Everybody say empty. Say it, empty. There is a law in the spirit that anywhere there is void, anything can fill it. When there was darkness and void the holy spirit came to hover around it swept clean through deliverance by casting out the devil but then empty because the word contents that will fill that person and close the door permanently is not there he has not received the preaching dimension of deliverance to let you know that now that this spirit has left you are we together now to begin to educate you into understanding what christ has done for you and then to help you to be able to stand your ground like paul would teach in the book of ephesians supplying you all the spiritual arsenals that can keep you safe now that you are free it's not there so the spirit will route to anything anger jealousy and gladly stroll back into the person unfortunately jesus said no spirit returns alone it will gather seven others more dangerous than itself and return to the person so that the end of that person is worse than the beginning if you're with me say amen this is why there are many temporal miracles you hear people say i received a miracle a spirit left me and then i started this and then the situation gets compounded and it becomes worse again because the person does not or he has not been educated to see the relevance you see let me tell you this come the moment you cast a spirit out of a person or out or around a situation spirits are not only in people spirits are also in situations situations are bodies that spirits can possess are we together now yes so that situation or that body the spirit leaves but the individual listen carefully the individual is here standing and his mindset has not been changed has not been altered the mindset becomes a gateway that spirit enters back and continues to influence the person and when this spirit study the man of god and they know that the man of god may be well-meaning he may be very anointed but his word content is very low they no longer will be afraid even before you cast them they'll just go out and you will think it's a sign that you are getting more anointed it's a sign that they have mastered your ignorance and created a way of of insulting you they will freely go and wait immediately after the grace they enter the person and continue to go so you see the labor it looks like this warfare is endless you will continue to cast out demons and demons and demons and demons forever whereas there can be victory established are you with me now that's why you can have a particular dream or series of dreams or all kinds of attacks and then you can have a strong season where there is an emphasis on the ministry or deliverance ministry or something like that and then the demons leave and afterwards the patience and the interest to allow deliverance be taught you is not there and these spirits will return they are stubborn spirits so said jesus they don't live and go away even satan left jesus for a while and came back came back through peter came back through judas until he thought he got jesus are we together the body of christ does not have the patience to allow the word of god let me tell you this if you are not teaching people you have to teach people the value of sitting to receive and to grow in the word the bible says let the word of christ dwell in you in all richness you're a man of god here please listen it is not so much about manifestation and rolling under the anointing and all of those kinds of things 
train your people to sit down and listen to the word of God and then train yourself to make sure you understand what you are teaching so that the people are not listening to what becomes poisonous to them if you're with me say amen when believers were saved in the early church they were not just left to go a few people were left without real spiritual follow-up and you saw what happened to them for instance in acts chapter 19 the bible says paul having passed through the upper coast he came and he found certain disciples supposedly and then he asked them a question he said have you received the holy ghost since he believed and they said we've not even heard whether there be any holy ghost and then he said unto what baptism then were you baptized and they said unto the baptism of john and jesus corrected them and said no the baptism of john was a baptism of repentance so that you will believe on who that will come and then they were baptized in the name of the lord jesus and paul laying his hands upon them the bible says they were filled with the holy spirit and began to pray in tongues and they prophesied they were 12 in number all of them that was a new level for them when you just back down a little you read from chapter 18 the last six verses the bible talks about a man called apollos a great man he was an eloquent man fervent in spirit mighty in scripture the bible says but he knew only the baptism of john and then one day he came for a meeting and then aquila and priscilla met him and then they expounded to him the way of the kingdom more perfectly and then he become more useful to the body because he now began to argue based on the new lights that he had you must pray and cast away ignorance the worst oppression is not demonic oppression that the spirit influences you is that when the spirit saps your desire for the word so that you do not have time and especially for we men of god it's possible to be reading the bible just because of the pressure i've been ministering right from saturday back to back every day up until yesterday dash in here to come tomorrow and back again to finish the conference you can imagine over 18 sermons within one week so it's easy i can be up and doing just studying the bible as though i have an interest but it may be that it's just for the formality of finding a sermon and these spirits watch out for these kinds of things are we together you prevail as a believer when your understanding is altered by the word of God it gives you an appreciation for excellence it gives you an appreciation for diligence it gives you an appreciation for knowledge it gives you an appreciation for value you see the all-surpassing excellency of God's power it will make you need the Holy Spirit in your life it will damage ignorance from your life and strengthen you to be effective and remember the more your spiritual capacity is the more God can flow through you and from you to others this is how to disciple nations are we together this night so give us Luke chapter 4 again let me finish up and then we'll pray mighty God so the poor need the gospel preached those in need of deliverance much more than the casting of the devil they need to understand the message that the bible calls preaching deliverance and then number three look up please to preach again the acceptable year of the lord king james says the acceptable year of the lord i think it's the new living translation that says to preach the year of the lord's favor the word acceptable year there doesn't just mean the day God has agreed. Uh -uh. It was a direct translation. But it is the Lord's favor to preach the Lord's favor. So those in need of favor is more than just laying on of hands. It's more than just prophecy receive favor. There is an, a spiritual education, a spiritual curriculum you must pass through to really walk in favor. Is one of the biggest mistakes again we make in church because we teach people that favor is unmerited that favor just happens when God wants to favor you but it's not true it's not true my brothers let me tell you this it is not true favor is merited there is a dimension of favor that operates as though unmerited 
but when you truly know what favor is and how it works you know that it is merited merited there does not mean everything even your obedience is done by the grace of god supplied you don't have the power to walk in it favor is not unmerited don't insult any man of god and don't look down on any man of god you hear teaching and saying is unmerited that's not what i'm teaching you you may buy into his understanding and find out that we are saying the same thing but then i can tell you this if you are under this leadership and you want results in your life understand that favor is merited i've taught you this that favor is a child that a pregnant woman gives birth to right proverbs 13 and verse 15 good understanding give it or bring it forth favor and it says the way of the transgressor is hard good understanding is like a woman proverbs chapter 13 and verse 15 good understanding is like a pregnant woman she can give birth to a child and the bible names that child favor transgression is also like another pregnant woman that can give birth to a child and the name of the child is hardship hardship is predictable there is there is an exact gestation period and you give birth to something that you name unfortunately it's life that names it hardship that's the name of your child favor that's the name of your child So when you tell people favor is unmerited, they just sit down and say, okay, so what do I do? And then they just sit down and say, okay, God, just favor me. And nothing will happen. Most people have not tasted what the Bible calls favor. I've said it again and again that most of what we call favor is breakthrough. Favor is only favor if it is repeated. If it happens just once in a while or once in a long while, that's breakthrough. That's not favor. Are we together? So when you need favor, Jesus is teaching us in the temple that you must be taught that there is something called the acceptable year of the Lord. Ah. I know there's more that's found in you. Be careful. Be careful what becomes the foundation of your spiritual knowledge and don't be ashamed to open yourself for change many times we are loyal to our current level that even in the face of truth we would rather be loyal to where we are than sustain the flexibility to move to where we need to be i have absolute disloyalty for error i'm not ashamed when i find out that there is a need for adjustment and correction just because you held on to a, a truth or a light all your life the moment you find the truth you see your loyalty you feel like you are betraying your convictions and we will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in you and i will never yell will never settle for less One more time. And we will never say, we'll never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. The same way many of us may have innocently learned that automatically demons just leave themselves out of you. It may be an honest knowledge you have sustained for a long time. You see that? by very well-meaning men and women of God from a very sincere heart that's why knowing God is powerful you need flexibility to know God because you will know things about him that will, it will be like deliverance from a cult now how do I come out of this knowing that all my life this is what I believed in I shared with you a story years ago about a gentleman fine smart man of God who for a long time held the view that look it was impossible demons cannot influence people etc etc and he held on to that and he was a very sincere person lovely fine nice gentleman and I remember when he came to see me in my room then 
as soon as I saw him, I saw a spirit standing behind him that came with him. And then I was, I was trying to look for the most loving way to just tell him, my brother, you may need prayer. No, 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 no. I don't need anything. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm this. I said, I understand. I'm not about to argue with you, but please, this is what. No, 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 no. This person came for counseling. Something is obviously wrong with his life. And now I'm seeing that this is what is wrong. And the gentleman will just not agree. And then I pleaded with him to give me a chance to pray for him. And this guy would get up like 15 minutes later, shouting and manifesting and talking on all kinds of things and then when i was done he got up i didn't look down on him i politely appreciated him for more than three days this gentleman could not be himself he went back according to him and carried his bible he kept sending me text messages apostle so what is the meaning of this now i believe this i believe that do you cry when you buy a better phone do you feel bad when you be buy a better phone? Don't be ashamed when you are open to truth that is new, but truth it is. Just because it's not something that has been captured in your experience. That's why you must have meekness and flexibility. The goal is not to create argument and to, no, 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 no. If I find out that what I believe now is wrong, I will be glad to repent and find out what the truth is and in all honesty come and tell you i apologize i've seen better now i will not be ashamed to say it but my brothers and my sisters let me tell you god has granted us the grace to prove some things and these things we teach are not suggestions are we together yes. favor will not come upon you just because you want it the gospel must be preached you must sit down and you must be taught the systems that activate favor and then when the teaching comes there is an empowerment is usually light and grace light grace light grace full of grace and truth 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 that's how it works when the truth comes upon you then the level of grace to demonstrate that dimension you have had is given to you is someone learning tonight i'm saying this because most of us are in these three categories tonight trusting god you came for a miracle service because you are tired of all the things that have happened around your life and are happening some of us have come because we are trusting lord can you look down on me with favor and i'm showing you jesus himself teaching at the temple that's why they marveled at him 20 let's look at verse 20 20 of luke chapter 4 we're praying shortly luke i'm 20 now 20 let's look at verse 20 and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister so there was a man of god there before him and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him 21 let me add 21 and he began to say unto them these days this scripture fulfilled in your ears when you read down the bible says they marveled at him saying what what doctrine is this is this not joseph's son where did he learn this one from now you must know something new to rise to a new level what you know has brought you where you are and if you stay there you will continue to recycle your results you must contend for light and glory and truth that's why i sang that song and i will never settle for less i know there's more that's found in you. i told you for many years demons used to oppress me remember my story as a man of god I went to many people sincerely let me tell you this by God's grace I tell you this I'm a student of knowledge there are few people that study and read like me I say it with all humility and so I read lots of books that propose so many things and I walked in those things yet these spirits would not leave me as a man of God they would oppress me I would go to bed and they would oppress me sometimes even in the midst of fasting like it's happening to many of you I will round up the fast as I'm rounding up the fast the same experience will happen again I said what I mean what is this is it, will it be honest that I don't have faith 
eventually i found out what was wrong and god helped me in that area that's why i continue to trust god to help people in these areas may god may god grant you the grace to prove what you know Amen. not just to say what you know this is a prayer you will appreciate in the nearest future may god grant you the grace to prove what you know Amen. because the end of all argument truly is results consistent results are proof that mastery has been gained are we together and tonight the lord wants to visit us like benga shared is a buffet a buffet of fat things he has set the table before us for yours it may not be that there's an infirmity you are trusting god for but there is a level of favor listen god has declared by his spirit that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness genesis 17 and verse 6 and i will make you exceeding fruitful he says and nations shall come out of you and kings out of your loins one of the keys i taught you that sponsor extraordinary fruitfulness is the favor of god this one everybody must cry it and you must receive it if every miracle service is dedicated to releasing favor it will be worth it because let me tell you my brothers and my sisters happy is a man whose jealousy the, the when the jealousy of god zooms on you you become a fearful wonder even to yourself it's true it's true you stand back and watch in shock and wonder and say god what are you doing it's not unmerited it is empowered but not unmerited there is an active contribution through knowledge and faith that brings it and tonight i believe that in the name of jesus christ within the few minutes we have a very quick work to do tonight there are many of us seated here the truth is that there are spirits around your life and behind the situations of your life and it does not matter trust god that they will leave you there are others your miracle service began while i was teaching because now you are gaining understanding so this is why these things continue to be repeated in my life but there are others the mountain that stands before you is a mountain of complete disfavor if in three days no one helps you something is wrong the favor of god is not on you 72 hours is too much for heaven to not respond to you forgive me if this sounds arrogant you will know it's true i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you i will come to you i will come to you you get up in the morning lord thank you and there's all kinds of favor daily loading you with benefits and i'm not just talking finance finance is not the only expression of favor it's a needed one but not the only expression of favor when god lifts men to make your life easy you are trusting god for a new dimension in the spirit someone goes out of his way and gets a book by an author you do not know and comes to give you and that book is teaching on the anointing in a way you have never seen that's favor it doesn't always have to be money when we say favor people think money you are trusting god for a realm of the prophetic and then god grants you access to a man of god you never would have had access to and one impartation brings you into that realm it is favor the absence of hardship is the proof of favor let me sing this song again before we pray don't join me listen and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you favor found in him new levels of grace found in him 
that you step into a meeting as a man of God and you know that principalities and powers, yokes, thrones, dominions are about to be subdued. It's not a suggestion. You are not guessing. You are standing from a pinnacle of light and no power in existence will sustain the ability to negate God's word upon your life. A dear man of God I met, you know, while I was ministering, great, wonderful man. Just yesterday I met with him and he said, Apostle, after a meeting, and he said, Sir, I've been trying to get a name for my company for weeks and for months. I'm a man of God and I've been praying and I laughed. Because when something is within your power, you see that? Within your power, given to you by grace. The same way a little child comes to say, please give me pure water and you can bring out five naira because it's within your power. There are some things after tonight, it will be within your power. It's soon. Within your power to speak and change things. Within your power. And I told him, I said, let's pray. I said, this night, you will have the answer. And by evening, he calls me and says, Apostle, I almost cannot believe this, even as a man of God, that I was sitting down and this is the name. This is that. And I told him, congratulations. And he said, what is this? And I told him that this is called the power of God. The power of God is a force. It produces changes. The same way you are sitting quietly now, your life is at the mercy of an anointing and within few minutes my brothers and my sisters I, I i never i never cease to marvel at what the anointing can do just like that just like in a twinkling of an eye and someone's burden has lifted for decades like that in in a moment and you're waiting for days in zaria will be worth it completely just like that Please believe this. If you're a worker in this ministry, believe it. Don't get used to these things and allow people who come from somewhere to continue to receive and you sit down and say, wow, I know. No, let's not cheat ourselves. Let's be sincere. God is able to do. Let me tell you, it is within his power to surprise you tonight. Not just to give you miracles, to surprise you. It is within his power to begin to alter systems and structures. This night, not tomorrow, this night. This night. The Bible says every man should minister according to the measure of the grace of God given to you. When you measure outside of the jurisdiction of the grace supplied, it's called pride. Elijah said, let him come, Naaman, Elisha, so that he will know not that there is a God in Israel, that there is a prophet in Israel. You would call that pride, but the result showed it. The same way you are a man of God now. And in a few minutes, if you are a man of God and you came here, I want you to just get ready. Because what will come on your life, it will lift you to a pedestal in the spirit that will surprise you. You will walk in strange levels of glory. This is by the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? We're about to pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Results are not acts of pride and arrogance. They are acts of the grace and the mercy of God. Activated through knowledge. So God takes you to a new dimension. We are going to do a very, we will trust God for a very quick walk. I took out time to teach tonight because this is the real miracle. The performance, all of that, is it, just a touch and all of that and one prophetic word. But what you are hearing now is it. This alteration that is happening not just to your spirit but to your mind. Find out how many impartation services Jesus conducted, you will be surprised. There were few times, one of which he breathed upon them, received the Holy Ghost. But most times he camped with them. For 40 days, all he was doing was to teach, teach, teach. But do you not know that in the light that comes from his hand is the hiding place of his power. The power of God flows through his word. So when the word of God is coming now, you are immersed in his glory. You see that? And the spirit entered me. Not just when he laid hands on me, when he spake unto me.
I've taught you how the word of God works. That the word of God is like a tree. It's carrying something. You don't receive it just for the word's sake. You receive it for what is on it. If, if I'm hungry and you serve me jollof rice, you bring it on a tray. Is that true? The first thing I receive is the tray. I receive the tray with joy, not because I need the tray. I need the rice. The word of God is a conveyor of the possibilities of God. So when the word of God comes to you, you are happy because of what is in it and on it. He sent forth his word. He sent forth his word. His word of deliverance. His word of, of healing. His word of lifting. Have you heard this proverb that in one day a nation can be born? He says, but as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. That means it's possible tonight that before the meeting is over, your phone can beep and you will see something that will keep you on your knees. And say, Lord, you just answered my prayer of five years in one day. How shall these things be? That's the voice of unbelief. We're talking God here. We're not talking a man. God. No wonder they said, Lord, I believe. But if what I call faith is nonsense, help thou my own belief. I need help. And Jesus helped him. Men of God, let's trust God for this miracle service to bring us into new realms of glory. Let's trust God. Let's trust God. The path of the just is as a shining light. It shines ever brighter spiritually financially in grace in influence the path of the just shines shines don't allow people threaten you with their ignorance when people are ignorant they rob their ignorance on you and make you guilty for opening yourself up to all the dimensions of god as though you are sinning so if you open up yourself to be blessed financially they they give a body language that suggests that you too you are joining them in this thing receive the whole counsel of god it is beneficial for all of god to be seen in your life you embrace the power of god and hate his resources the pain that is on your child will tell on you and it will destroy your life i receive the whole counsel of god i receive the whole counsel if there is wealth i receive it if there is wisdom i receive it if there is grace i receive it everything that is on this table sometimes you can be served a buffet and sometimes they can even help you to serve it and you say little of everything little of what everything and we will never see. now you join me we know there's more that's found in you Time. Sing it from the depth of your heart. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. Just one prayer point tonight. Lord, my heart and my mind and my body is open to receive everything everything go ahead and pray everything oh god you're trusting god for a healing miracle now is the time to release your faith you're trusting god for deliverance from all kinds of oppression now is the time to believe you're trusting god for a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit a new level in the spirit believe it for it don't trust in god for a change of results don't thank you i have evidences in my life but i need a higher level of results Lord, thank you for the prayer dimension, but I need a heavier grace, the spirit of prayer and supplication. Amplify the gift of God in me. Amplify the grace of God in me. Amplify. 
provide the supply of the spirit upon my life. I need to disciple nations. I need to become an influence over a system, over a structure for the sake of your glory. Pray, pray. Pray, Lord, I need a visitation upon my family. How forcible are right words? How forcible are right words? There is a compelling power that right words bring. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, we're going to do it this way. We have to hurry up. We're just going to do four things this night. Number one, there will be a session of prophetic deliverance. I'll tell you what that means. I'll pray for people. I'll minister. But there are times that I'll just speak the word, the case, and then God will deal with that. Number two, I, I, if we have the time... The Lord may speak to one or two people. And then number three, we'll take time and minister the healing power of God to the sick. It's very important. And then number four, we'll have the time to pray on our requests. And then I prophesy and speak over everyone. And that will be it for the night. The, the, that time will come with impartations and all of that. I say this to you, especially for those of you who are coming for the first time, so that your heart can be open. It's going to be a flow all through. And I want you to participate with your heart. Let your heart be open. By the way, you can stand in for your loved ones. And then those connecting online from whatever nation of the world, there's no distance truly in the spirit. You can receive, you can believe, and then God can make this true in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is a grace that I found myself releasing upon the body of Christ in this season. And that's what we're going to start with. The Lord, I don't know, God has been doing something in my life since January this year started. Is the grace for speed. This is what I want to release upon our lives. All through my meetings in Lagos, for every meeting, the Lord has instructed me to release that grace. Listen, no matter how many times you've heard me pray it, I like for your heart to be open. There is real speed. That can come upon the saints in this season that you will run just just run like elijah are we together now i want to i, I want to talk to you especially for those outside the ushers will only do their best but they are limited usually when i pray this prayer and i release this grace you will find people running physically by the spirit of god there's nothing strange about it this is an operation of the spirit and i want to pray that grace right now from the depth of my heart you see that most of what we need in our lives is speed you will not complain about delay again when you have speed because it will not make any difference god has a system of forcing you to catch up and i want to pray those who are coming here for the first time let this be the first miracle that you receive in the mighty name of jesus now i stretch my hands at the count of three i declare the grace for speed i'm seeing fire coming on the feet of people at the count of three, I release that anointing in all the overflows. Right now, one, my God, two, three, receive that grace right now. Receive that anointing everywhere, inside and outside. I release that grace, that grace for speed. Life comes to you and you begin to run to overtake the chariots of Ahab. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release speed, speed, inside, outside. I release speed. People are receiving that grace. Strange speed. Speed in ministry. Speed in your career. Receive it. God is releasing it upon you. No more delays. No more delays. By the spirit of the living God. No more delays online, offline, localized here. I stretch my hands and I prophesy that grace. Right now, people will begin to run by the Spirit. I'm seeing it in the Spirit. An energizing of the Spirit is coming on men and women. Speed! Speed! I prophesy speed! 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 Outside, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three. 
by the roadside speed for you and for your family members by this grace I crush delay I crush delay I crush delay I crush delay I crush stagnation remaining in one position I judge the spirit and the force behind it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ The Lord is telling me he's still releasing that grace but now over families not just individuals you as a person may be moving forward but your family is under a strong yoke of stagnation I stretch my hands right now at the count of three may God use you as a point of contact to supply speed to your family members are you ready one two three receive that grace families families speed speed to the north speed to the south speed to the east speed to the west in the name of jesus speed to the middle belt i release you i release you i release you Pabakato shalikata speed in the name of jesus i cause every power i cause every force by this grace and by this unction i release thee hallelujah the lord is showing me a purple robe i'm seeing a purple robe in the spirit and i'm seeing it come on people not everybody but there are specific people and i believe purple in 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 scripture is symbolic of royalty it is a system of enthronement that is coming on certain people lord i don't know where these people are they came from miracle service but i stretch my hands may the anointing locate such people now and shift you into a new dimension in the name of jesus receive that grace receive that grace men robed in royalty beauty for ashes beauty for ashes beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness beauty for ashes beauty for ashes beauty for ashes attention to what God is doing. Beauty for ashes. Hallelujah. I'm seeing in a vision of the Lord and I'm seeing people, the right legs, being tied with something that looks like looks like a like a bag but tied and I'm seeing on it reproach. That's what the Lord is seeing, reproach. And the Lord wants to take away that luggage of reproach. It may not be for everybody, but in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, that everything that represents a reproach in your life, tonight, here and now, I release by the supply of the Spirit, the grace, and I cause that reproach now. I cause that reproach now. I cause that reproach now. I cause that reproach now, my God. I cause that reproach now in the name of Jesus, man of God. I cause that reproach now in the name of Jesus Christ, businessman. I cause that reproach now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a grace for biological fruitfulness like physical i'm not not just maybe financial and all of that real to, to dislodge barrenness whether it is for you or it's for someone connected to you it's time to receive it now i'm seeing the lord is leading me to stand here just this room and i'm seeing an anointing locating people right here and taking away that yoke 
of barrenness. I stretch my hand. Whether it is for you or your family members, I'm just doing what the Lord is asking me to do. In the name of Jesus, may that anointing come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. That if there is anyone within this row, among those standing, that is suffering any kind of barrenness, I come against it right now. I declare, become a joyful mother of children, a joyful father, a joyful mother, a joyful father, a joyful mother, a joyful father, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to do something serious here. Now, this is an apostolic ministry and we are word-based. So whatever it is you do not understand, you rest in the fact that we work consistent with the Lord. Um, what, what God, I hope that you don't find it offensive. God is asking me to remove some money and just hold it and speak and release a grace for financial rest over people. This is an instruction. That's why I'm taking out time to explain so you don't misunderstand me. You will be surprised to see what happens. I will not ordinarily do that. No, we, we represent, we are people of integrity and this is not some superstitious manipulative thing. But we are in a season of fruitfulness and God is giving me an instruction. So I'm just going to do exactly what God is asking me to do. Just to be able to hold something and release that grace. And that you have the grace to receive you surprised to see what happens father i've obeyed you in childlike foolishness i stretch my hands right now let this mantle and this unction lord let it rest on your people at the count of four that in a way you will shift them to such dimensions of supernatural supplies get ready now one two three four receive that fire right now step into that level of strange abundance in the name of jesus christ i place a grace upon your life you may look weak but in the name of jesus let there be supplies from heaven let there be supplies from heaven let there be supplies from heaven in the mighty name of jesus in the name of jesus i provoke over your life the grace for strange financial supplies don't say you don't need it 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 in the name of jesus let it give you rest to serve the lord let it give you the fortitude to stop begging in the name of jesus and it will allow you to concentrate on the matters of the kingdom and of destiny i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ I'm still praying there are people entering realms right now in the spirit entering financial dimensions it is first spiritual before physical listen to me it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness let your faith come alive there are people entering dimensions and levels of grace and supplies and possibilities it's in you Don't come dropping seeds out of ignorance or pressure please please i'm praying from my heart if you don't know what you are doing please don't feel guilty and don't feel under any kind of pressure whatsoever are we together let me tell you this my brothers and my sisters when god begins to speak over your life in an area is because he has seen what is going to befall men and like an ark he's creating an ark of gopher wood that represents safety many people in this year will languish financially i'm telling you this listen there will be a lot of cries that's why god is releasing this grace 
there will be more people backsliding as a result of lack of resources than just a demonic attack please again i plead with you i plead with you in the name of jesus do not be under any pressure listen they did not keep a basket here for you to come and keep money i'm, I'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so i'm saying this from the depth of my heart and sincerely so we are committed to helping you experience god we are not playing games with anyone's destiny but i'm saying it again that there are people entering strange realms this is more than a miracle alert this is not miracle alert this is a realm it's a it's a dimension in the spirit and in the name of jesus i stand by this anointing again and i shift you step in step in step in step in step into this realm of surprise step into this realm of grace for your family for your family for your destiny step into this realm of grace it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found me it's in you lord it's in you lord i know that's more that's found me and we will never say we'll never settle for less we know that's more that's found in you hallelujah i'm seeing a woman outside the lord is showing me a woman outside The power of God is coming upon that woman right now outside. I'm seeing that this is a woman of many sorrows. Her name is not given to me. But I'm seeing that this is a woman outside with all kinds of first financial issues and then family issues and anointing. A very strong anointing will come upon that woman. And the Lord is telling me that he's bringing upon people the spirit of revelation. Is, is a dimension of grace i want to pray that prayer right now father in the name of jesus christ i don't know who they are i don't know where they are but i stretch my hands i'm seeing fire like rings of fire just coming upon the eyes of people i release that grace right now help them please i release that grace right now blessed are you oh lord our god is holy Blessed are you, O Lord, and it is holy. Something is coming on you. But I don't By wisdom, O God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the sea. Creating way and time, turning darkness into light. Arranging the stars to go. But I can't deny my mind. I'm seeing like a letter and I'm seeing congratulations on it and the Lord is telling me it's a grace for jobs it's a grace for jobs please believe now it's a grace there are people who have been praying it and the Lord is asking me to count five just the, the number five and a grace will come for some you are already walking but God will lift you like the stars rising one two three four five receive that grace right now in the name of jesus i release that grace supernatural testimonies supernatural testimonies of jobs in the name of jesus supernatural testimonies for you and for your loved ones i don't care where the job must come from but i decree and i prophesy these jobs come to you speedily 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My hands are shaking. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. I'm stretching my hands. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. There are people that need to step into the healing ministry. The healing anointing. Right now I release that grace. The healing anointing. You can't be a man of God without the healing grace. The healing anointing. Receive it from ministry. Receive it from ministry. The healing anointing. Outside overflow one. I've seen the angels of the Lord. There are impartations of the healing grace. The healing grace. The healing grace. The healing anointing. Receive it. You need it. In the name of Jesus, so you can take the healing power of Jesus to the nation. Parakato sekete, enketa la kotoska parakato sheteke sabata. Rakata ta 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 parakatoska parantasia. Shekete kete kete shekete. Enta kato sata kata In the name of Jesus Christ, you are carrying that grace bodily. You are carrying that grace, evidential grace for you. Hallelujah. Now I'm ready to minister deliverance. For those people, you bring them out now. I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray. Lift your hands. We're going to pray. We're going to read these spirits. There are forces that stand the destinies of people listen please especially if this is your first time coming ah. i'm seeing fire fire from ground up fire from ground that's from your feet rising up i'm going to count three listen for those people please i want them out here there is a strong fire of deliverance that is going to come upon you and clear the way for you to experience open doors and victory are you ready now please i want you to believe it at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus it's not a ritual and let me have all the people here ushers thank you father every devil of darkness that followed anyone here any family any situation here in the name of jesus it's time for them to come out of their hiding place i decree and i prophesy that at the count of three as you shout jesus may the fire of god bring a separation between you and those influences one get ready two three shout jesus come out of them now i cast every devil in the name of jesus and they shall cast out devils i command the spirit influences behind situations behind circumstances i command in the name of jesus that they come out of their hiding place in the name of jesus bring them out spirits of ancestry territorial ordinances that keep men in the same position that refuse to let them rise I come against you in the name of Jesus. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a sword. And I know that sword is the word of God. I cast by that sword. Let there be a separation. That every force tying anyone's destiny. You're going to shout Jesus again. At the count of three. Be ye lifted, all ye ancient gods. One, two, three. 
Let them go. In the name of Jesus, release their destinies. Covenant keeping God. Yahweh, covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. hands that I see tied in the realm of the spirit many of you will feel physical fire on your hands there will be a strange deliverance that's why anything you do does not work no matter if it's a business it will fail if it's a relationship it will fail anything you lay your hands there is a spirit that steals your joy but right now I challenge and I attack that spirit let the fire of God right now at the count of three separate you from that influence. One, two, three. Let them go now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. The yoke of bad luck, the yoke of bad luck, the yoke of bad luck. I break it now. The yoke of bad luck. Receive, I'm breaking someone free from this yoke of bad luck. Makato se sekete lekete yakata. Shabranda kato sana kato skele bakaratos. Eketo skete kete kete kete. Karusa siya makando sana makata. I break you free from the yoke of bad luck. In the name of Jesus. Bad luck. It works well for others until you come. And then something strange just happens. All those under the anointing here, I arrest this spirit and at the count of three, every devil you will patch your load and every trouble you have brought to these destinies and go. I speak as one sent by the anointing. At the count of three, leave. One, two, three, go, go, go. Out of their lives, out of their destinies, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're so glad to pray for the sick. Who is Janet? Janet, Janet, I hear a name, Janet, Janet, there's, there's no time we have, Janet, please don't enjoy anybody, are you Janet, stand up, I had the name Janet, please don't tell lies, don't embarrass yourself, if you are not Janet, go back, Janet,
Where are you from? In the name of Jesus, look at me. I will pray for everybody, but I will pray for you. Huh? Look at me. Look at me. Don't close your eyes. Your family is under serious attack. Huh? Where are they? Where are your family members? They're in Zaria. Zaria, yes. Go and tell them that the Lord is bringing deliverance for your entire Amen. family. Amen. Huh? Not only... Go and tell your family members that the Lord is taking away the reproach Amen. from your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, I may not be able to talk to everyone, but I'm still seeing that thing I saw in the vision. That thing tied on the legs, written reproach, reproach, reproach. And the Lord is taking it away right now in the name of Jesus, taking away reproach. This lady, tap that lady holding her hands for me. This, lift your hands lift your hands just do what I'm asking you to do in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I'm seeing like oil come upon you and God is saying he's shifting you to a new level of favor in the name of Jesus I decree and I prophesy by the spirit over you 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 All of you standing here for time's sake I'm going to pray for you one of you um, the power of God is going to come on one of you the moment that happens I'll pray for everybody I'm seeing one person one of you the Lord is telling me that the anointing is coming on that person not only is God bringing personal spiritual revival to you God is opening doors of opportunity Lord where is that one person I decree and declare when that one person is identified and then I just pray for all of you in general I'm seeing someone in around the media where media people are and the Lord is saying you are stepping into your season of laughter and just around that vicinity of the media I stretch my hands may the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus like a mighty rushing wind rest upon the individuals within that vicinity in the name of Jesus, that person must enter into the, the reality of this prophecy. I'm back to you people in front. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare, whoever that one person is, may that anointing and that grace come upon you. You will never, 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 never be the same. The power of God will come upon that one person. The moment that happens, then I'll pray for everybody. It's just the instruction God is giving me in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands towards all of you by faith and in the spirit i declare for whatever reason it is that god brought you out here i declare i place the word of god upon your situation and in the name of jesus i declare that you return with testimonies in the name of jesus my dear look at me this lady wearing dark come god bless you you can go back to your seat all of you hold my hands Hold it with both of your hands. Where are you coming from? Asaba. From Asaba. Yes, the Lord is saying, I should tell you that this will be the beginning of your days of glory. Amen. This will be the beginning of your days of glory. Step into it by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. your banner we shine your light so we see in honor of you Lord we raise your banner we shine your light so bright. we see in honor of you hallelujah ladies every spirit that appears to you in dreams sleeping with you in dreams and destroying your destiny anything good that is about i'm praying for everybody but i'm hearing ladies in my spirit to deliver ladies from this spirit good things are about to happen to you and then you have a dream and all kinds of spirits molest you and that's it i'm praying i'm seeing 23 there are more than this but particularly 23 people the lord is bringing strange deliverance for them right now wherever they are 
in the name of Jesus, may the fire of the Holy Spirit from inside this auditorium to the overflows outside online, let there be complete emancipation for such people. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, this lady wearing pink, lift your hands. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I'm seeing the Lord take something out of your body. We're about to pray for the sick. But the Lord is taking something out of your body. That's why I told you to shout that name. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the power of infirmity is broken over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, our time is gone. We're going to be very, very fast. Are we together? Um, if you are trusting God, listen carefully. Whether you are in overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, if what you have, please listen, if what you have is a terminal disease, a terminal disease is something that is akin to a death sentence. Are we together? Like a death sentence. You know what I mean? I don't have to mention names. Please, whether you are in overflow one, two, three, be fair, be honest. I will want to minister by myself to you. Now, number two, those in here, you can come out and you're trusting God for healing for you or for your loved ones. Overflow one, please to your projector stand. Overflow two, same thing to your projector stand. Overflow three, to your projector stand. So if you do not belong to this category that I particularly requested to come, please, God is here. Make sure you are sincere. Make sure you are honest. I'd like all of you to come stand. I'm about to minister. And there will be men and women of God scattered across. Those by the roadside, I don't know what overflow that will be. Let's say an extension, overflow four. You will join overflow two. And then there will be men of God ministering by the Spirit. Please, because of time, you do not just a touch is enough we're functioning together under a corporate anointing so you don't have to particularly except if they have a personal prophetic word for you you don't have to just waylay them and harass them and say look this and that and that just stand by faith as soon as they pray for you you go back to your seat you check yourself you must return with your testimony if it's a medical report whatever it is i'd like you to just come believing hallelujah Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that together as a team, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, and those online, we agree that this touch becomes a touch that will birth your miracle and your testimony. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, as, as we pray for you, worship team, please help us. Whilst we are doing that, how many of you have your prayer requests? You have your prayer request please wave it so while this is happening usher's pr department please join them uh and then if, if if there's a need for that maybe the protocol department can help let's collate the prayer requests very quickly so that we can speak over it immediately we'll be very fast please um dear people of god let's be very fast as we minister to them so that we can um finish up on time blessed be the name of the lord for those of you standing here i want you to believe there is a God in heaven and that this touch becomes a supernatural touch doesn't matter what the situation is release your faith in Jesus name God bless you um, I will just just stand on them because of time please if you are yet to submit your prayer request it's not a ritual you can wave it and an usher or someone will quickly please if you're under the anointing you can wave it or tell them where it is and they'll pick it for you please quickly quickly those online connect by faith stretch your hands here and let's pray father we decree and we declare we just have a minute for this in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands and prophesy libras kadabrando sharikatosia brother the same way we are standing on these requests in the name of jesus this is establishing your dominion above every challenge above every situation in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus, 
in the name of Jesus, we decree by the power of the Holy Spirit, every impossible situation here, we turn it around right now in the name of Jesus. We turn it around, believe, believe, believe. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. We turn it around in the name of Jesus. This is a strategy that the Lord delivered to us. A representation of your pain, your stress, that which attempts to challenge God over your life. No matter how many times we prophesy, we are limited. And this is an opportunity to have everyone. It's like tabling your heart before God. There is a God that answers prayers. This is not a ritual. That's why we bring it before him. And let me tell you, we have, we have heard of marvelous testimonies from this. And I believe that in this year of extraordinary fruitfulness, that this that you have dropped here before the Lord, in the name of Jesus, as you have brought it before him, it will never, if it's a tragic situation, it will never return to you again. And if it is a request that must appear in your life, then I decree and declare. I don't know how it will happen. Like the prophet said, you may not see wind, you may not see rain, yet the valley shall be filled with water. I prophesy, I decree and declare in the name that is above all names, by the God of all grace, your answer will find its way to your life. Even if it means happening through your enemy or happening to a man that has vowed not to help you, may my God make it happen for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, that you see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. You see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. For many of you, even before this month is over, in the name of Jesus, you will tick your list one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one. In the name of Jesus, we decree it so by the power of the Holy Spirit. We decree it so by the blood of the Lamb. We decree it so by the word of God. We establish it. It is done in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you now. This will be... Um, the first time we are doing this in a miracle service for the year why do I round up the services with a prophetic word because I believe in the power of prophecy and it is also a spiritual mechanism to send the word to you wherever you are are we together now you don't have to be called as an individual the word of God comes is yours for you to receive and then you see the creative potentials in that word. People's lives have changed some overnight just because a word came and now it's about to come again. Let me tell you, do you know that I listen to the miracle service messages myself and I receive all the prayers from the man of God? Just because I'm the vessel being used by God does not exempt me from receiving too. I listen to the messages and God is my witness. I follow every prayer with all my heart sincerely. Are we together now? So believe this and you will see it work in your life. It is only what you believe that will work. Are we together? Favor like never before. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from this night. May he follow you like a shadow follows a man. I say it again, favor like never before from tonight. May he follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. Strange favor, strange favor, activating possibilities in your life. Strange favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, every overdue issue in your life, an issue that has stayed long, Beyond necessary in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that this is the season of strange settlement over your life may my God the God of all grace establish and settle you in every area in the name of Jesus Christ 
every long standing issue comes to an end now everything that misrepresents you before your helpers the spirit that creates a bad image in the presence of those who can help and lift you there is such an operation of darkness that when men desire to help you something happens around your life in the name of jesus it comes to an end now in the name of jesus it comes to an end now i pray for you in in this season you need wisdom not sophia not the wisdom of men not the princes of this world but the wisdom that comes from above that is accompanied with mighty works it says i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that none of your adversary can gainsay nor resist i decree and declare receive this strange order of wisdom receive this supernatural dimension of wisdom in the name of jesus christ the level of anointing that you must be upgraded to in this season so that the hand of god will be evident on your life i stretch my hands let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now let there be a baptism of that anointing upon you now if you are in ministry let there be a baptism of that anointing now for every leader here let there be a baptism of that anointing now everyone due for promotion your place of work or your standing in for your your loved ones i decree and declare we announce and we establish their rising in the mighty name of jesus christ the spirit that continues to minister to you that you will die and that you will not see the end of this year you will die during election you will die during this and that a crisis will happen and you'll be a victim of this i silence the voice of that spirit now i decree and declare whether by road whether by air whether through the operation of the wickedness in men remain ever exempted from death in the name of jesus may you be too late for tragedy if it will cause shame you will not be found there if it will cause pain you will not be found there in the name of jesus christ I decree that whatever it is you're involved with whether it's your career the works of your hands your business whatever it is that God uses as a channel to increase your influence to bless people and to empower you in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it in the name of Jesus may grace be multiplied upon it Some of you at the beginning of the year your prayer life is already down it's too early your word life already down no appetite to study scripture no appetite to pray whether you sleep by eight o'clock or by ten you will still wake up by eight the next day this one is a spirit it's no longer tiredness anything you don't have control over has been hijacked over by satan god gives his beloved sleep it is true but slumber is of the devil there is a difference between slumber and sleep one of the differences is control there are some of us even if you sleep by two in the afternoon you will wake up by eight or nine the next day until good things finish before you wake up it's a spirit i curse it from your life now. you will go to bed when you want to and you will wake up when you need to in the name of jesus christ god has declared over us but let me declare again over our finances please i will continue to say this 
they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo I decree and declare this is the season that you step into overflow in the name of Jesus Christ no one connected to this grace no one connected to this vision goes down financially and I pray for you those of us who have little groups ministries fellowships that were helping and building other believers and for a long time you have seen that it's like your grace is pecked at a level nothing new nothing fresh I decree after this miracle service step into a new order of spiritual operation whatever needs to be restored in your life before February restoration restoration to bring back I command it to your life now in the name of Jesus anywhere we are not praying for crisis during this election but in the name of Jesus any pocket of reprisal or whatever that will arise by the finger of God may you be far from that environment may your children be far from that environment may your parents and your loved ones be far from that environment whatever it is that you have asked the Lord that I have not mentioned here but is a desperate desire in your heart I release my faith with you as touching the grace given unto me in the name of Jesus let it be turned to your testimony two more prayer points may the spiritual fire on your altar the fire that once called people to you the fire that was responsible for your honor the fire that was responsible for your influence whatever made that fire go down or blew it out in the name of jesus we find your coals back to flames whatever has shot your appetite for knowledge you used to be a student of knowledge you buy books you are online learning and growing but for some reason whether carelessness complacency or just an attack now there is no appetite to know and to grow i declare that after this night may the grace that causes men to seek god and seek after truth may that grace be released upon you Let me add one more prayer no matter where your loved ones are on this earth whether in this country or outside of this country within this continent or outside of this continent whether in health or not whether following this service or not we decree and declare may the hand the help and the favor of god locate them and even as you are receiving and celebrating testimonies May your loved ones have the same experience in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you and we bless you again for tonight. We honor you because you are God. Let your name forever be lifted. Tonight we call you the God that doeth wonders. We pray that you will reveal yourself in this place in a mighty way. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Let lives and destinies change in the name of Jesus. We thank you tonight and we declare that as always, Jesus will be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. Please greet one or two people and please be seated. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those outside, can you shout hallelujah? Praise.
Praise the Lord. If you know tonight is your night, shout, say, it's my turn. Now, please listen. We'll sit down. Praise the Lord. You're going to shout it one more time. Listen, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. I know you are going to do crazy things. Just sit down. These people here are people of faith. But listen, just one more time. And it looks like a joke, but this one time, one just this one shout is truly, I mean it now. You know, when I'm joking, I'm, I'm just this one shout. You see, but the things of the spirit are very stupid things. They don't make sense. We're going to shout it one more time. Just that shout is my turn. It's a release of faith. And that's it. God is literally changing someone's life. Ready for that now? If this is your night, I want you to shout it with faith. It's my turn. supply all my needs according to his riches in glory he will put his angels charge over me Jehovah Jireh cares for me Jehovah Jireh I trade these ashes in for beauty And wear forgiveness like a crown Coming to kiss the feet of mercy I lay every burden down At the foot of Time, sing it from your heart. I drink these ashes in for you. you have dedicated tonight to be an extraordinary night and we say amen to it we decree and declare may your hands be so stretched oh God your people have come they have come believing they have come because they heard that you are alive in our midst in this place many have traveled from far and near Many are connecting from all over the world. I pray, O oh God, that you will reveal yourself tonight as the God that doeth wonders. Give us testimonies, strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. Just help those under the anointing. 
we really want to celebrate the media department. Praise the Lord. The number one challenge of many people as far as our messages are concerned is having a system that will be able to grant them the ease of access. I, I acknowledge the fact that it's been very difficult, especially for people outside of this nation, having to use for shared for many years. And um, what's the other one? The Google Drive and all of that. We again want to thank all of the people who have been part of this family, um, allowing our messages to be available across various um, blog pages, um, download uh, sites and so on and so forth and getting it across to people and i believe that this will really bring a lot of ease um koinonia downloads.org is the um, site for it and we're really really very happy just a few things um i apologize i would have called the head of department to just say a word or two but we don't have that time now um i understand that the page has um, links to know a bit about the ministry and then the downloads and then from there you can access koinonia radio uh, and then you can also give i think it's secured enough for you to be able to give the information um, of the ministry's account and then if you want to do any payment online um, is secured we have tried to make sure that it's secured and then you can also register your testimony there there's a column for your testimony and then our official lines for contact is also there. Um, I'm also told that the downloads contain all our messages to date and will be updated every week. And it's been arranged according to date, according to category, according to alphabetical order, and then the miracle services. So everything has been done. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are not happy about this, leave this place this night because we are, we are people who rejoice. Hallelujah. Why are we dedicating this? The same reason why we dedicated the baby. Dedication is not for, dedication is for anything that came by God. Anything. We are handing it over to God like we handed over everything and said, Lord, it's yours. Give it wings. Let it bless people. And it's also a way to help us manage some of these very ungodly, these karmas that continue to go around parading as Joshua Selman, parading as, as um, you see, if you claim you are me, what fights me will also look for you. This is, this is what people don't know. There are, there are all kinds of revelations. When God calls a man, he knows what fights that man. And he puts a grace. It's like a vaccination. So when you claim you are me, I don't mean like in, this, in the spirit, in the physical to deceive people. You are announcing the realm of the spirit that whether they see me or see that person, any one of them. You see that? It's the same mystery in marriage. And so some of these foolish people don't know what they are doing to themselves. You bring attacks upon you, maybe your wife, your children, just because of falsehood. Let me say it again and again, please, especially for our international community. Do not, please, do not entertain anybody whatsoever, whether as Joshua Selman or anybody connected to this ministry, asking you to transfer money through any charity account there is only one account in the name of the ministry and in my name for any personal seat that has been made available ministerially speaking so any charity name or whatever it is for prayer and so on and so forth please and please i want you to know that you are dealing with a scammer praise the lord and we have asked the lord to help us fight them and i'm telling you god answers prayers here Praise the Lord. So, Father, stretch your hands, please, and let's pray. We thank you. You have done this for your glory. You have done this to bring honor to the name of Jesus. You have done this to lift up your name. And, Father, we sincerely, sincerely thank you. You are God. 
you are king we love you we honor you we bless you lord we thank you for this opportunity you have given us to make the message um, structurally available to bless all and sundry we declare that it will remain a blessing let this download portal remain a blessing in the name of jesus let millions around the world access it and get the resources that will provide supernatural solutions for them let people be saved through this portal let people be healed through this portal let people be changed transformed in the name of jesus and father we bless you and we honor you therefore we dedicate this and we release it tonight let it bless everyone let it be our contribution to kingdom come let it be our contribution um, towards establishing the purposes of the kingdom as committed unto us therefore father with all humility and gratitude we dedicate this in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit amen and amen praise the lord so please make it known let the whole world know that um, this is available as we improve on it we'll continue to let you know um, the improvements that are there are you ready for tonight thank you jesus pray one prayer lord that which belongs to me must enter my hands tonight lift your voice and pray the grace belonging to me the dimension the anointing everything that belongs to me holy 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 and the people say holy 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 and the people say holy 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 is the lord god almighty is the lord god My life is full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy. Is the Lord, is the Lord God Almighty? Is the Lord God Almighty? My life is full of Your glory. My life is full of Your glory. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 5. Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 5. Let your heart be open tonight. Acts chapter 5. From verse 12. We'll read from verse 12 to 16. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch and the rest does no man join himself to them but the people magnified them 14 and believers were the more added unto the Lord by reason of the mighty things that happened multitudes both of men and women 15 
in so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches that at least the shadow of Peter passing might overshadow some of them. The last verse 16. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits and they were healed everyone praise the lord it is god's desire that continually a territory and a people continually that they continue to experience the wonder working power that is back of the name of jesus the name of jesus is powerful the Bible says God has given him a name. Please listen. And he said that name has been exalted above every other name. And the Bible demands, not as an option, that that name sustains the ability to cause every knee to bow and every tongue to confess, acknowledging that Jesus has now become not only Christ alone, but Lord. The Bible says he has been made both Lord and Christ. He became Christ when the Holy Spirit came upon him. He became Lord at his coronation when he sat at the right hand of the Father. So he occupies those offices as the Christ of God and Lord, the owner of the earth. One of the ways that the kingdom was designed to advance please listen is through the the wonder walking manifestations of the power and the glory of God through men to men within a territory that means that when a territory continues to experience the multifaceted dimensions of the Christ in miracles signs wonders healings strange manifestations of his power the bible says that everywhere this kind happens an entire territory will always come towards where the hand of god is finding expression and that many multitudes both of men and women will come to jesus i came in and i met a gentleman sharing his testimony i was so blessed when he said in the dream, remember, that the demand. And now he's waiting for the altar call. That one is the power of God. Are we together? Ministry is easy when there is results. You see, let me tell you, anything is hard when there are no results. So we are a people of results, consistent results. Anything will be difficult when there are no results. Tonight, several people have come, several others connecting from around the world. Why? Number one, because we all together as a family love Jesus. But number two, because we have come believing. Believing, number one, according to Hebrews 11 verse 6, that he is, he exists. And then two, that he has the ability to reward. God is called a rewarder. He can reward them that diligently seek him. There are families represented here trusting God for all kinds of things, holding in their hands death sentences. Situations that only the power of God can solve. What then is ministry if it cannot culminate to the lifting of men? What then is ministry if it cannot draw men to Jesus? What then is ministry if it does not provide a platform for people to experience a dimension of God that is higher than science? A dimension of God that is higher than medicine? A dimension of God that is higher than economics? See, listen, let me tell you this. When you come before God, it is important that you respectfully acknowledge that men have understanding but when you come before the god of the universe please find a way of indoctrinating yourself that you are operating 
um, you are dealing with a God that operates in a realm and a dimension that is higher than the scope of men. He will use men, but he does not walk by men. He walks through men. So it is not unusual that you are here right now and scientifically speaking, there is you put two and two together and it does not make sense how you will come out. When I was meditating on what I'll be sharing just a little chat before we pray, I, I had a vision and in that vision, I saw what would be a similitude of the experience of Jesus remember when he was going to Gadara and there was a storm and I saw not the exact thing in the Bible but I saw like a raging storm and I knew that this would probably refer to a category of people seated here and outside and following online who are having all kinds of storms around their lives it may be to go back to that scripture and just study it very carefully <clears throat> Because if Jesus calmed the storm, then you should study what he did. Are we together? Can we look at it for just two minutes before we pray? Luke chapter 8. Let's look at Luke's account. I love the scriptures. Luke chapter 8. Verse 22. Now it came to pass on a certain day. Listen. Listen. That he went into a ship with his disciples and he said unto them, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. Uh huh. Let's continue. But as they sailed, remember, it was vision that brought this trouble. If they were not moving forward, there would be no need for a storm. Sometimes a storm does not mean you are wrong, it could mean you are right. They were on their way to the other side sometimes not having a storm does not mean you are all right there are times that it means you are not doing anything you are not moving they were on their way to the other side and then the bible says that a storm arose but as they sailed he jesus now fell asleep and there came down a storm of wind on the lake and they were filled with water and they were in jeopardy 24 and they came to him and awoke him saying master master another version says carest not that we perish and he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased and there was calm leave it there leave that scripture there <laughs> look up a storm is made of two things number one wind number two water every storm is made of wind and water the bible says to calm the storm jesus dealt with two things he dealt with the wind and he dealt with the water that a storm does not just happen until these elements are present the wind and the water the wind in scripture always talks about the spiritual impute the realm of the spirit all through consistent from genesis 1 breathing upon them the breath of god ezekiel 37 are we together right everywhere the bible talks about wind it has to do with the spiritual dimension of anything and then number two the bible talks of water water in scripture especially with this kind of reference refers to men multitudes the voice of god is mighty upon the waters so the Bible says, you have no business having a storm until there is wind and water. There has to be a spiritual dimension for every storm to be called a storm. And then there must be human factors that can work in partnership with the realm of the spirit to make a storm real. So Jesus is on his way going. We see that there are spirits we know that this is true because as soon as he gets to Gadara, we see a man and we see spirits. So this condition was fulfilled. Are we together now? That a storm cannot be a storm until there is wind and water. 
Jesus gets up and with this intelligence, he knows what to rebuke. The Bible says, look at, the Bible says he rebuked the wind. One side, and then the raging of the water. Was it not the man in Gadara who was raging with anger? Are we together now? The Bible says they would bind that man and put him in grave, and, I mean, at rocks, and he would break the chains. He came to Jesus and said, what is all this? You have come to destroy us, do not torment us. And Jesus rebukes the spirit. Jesus corrects that man. And when you read down here, the Bible says he came and met the man in his right mind, in his right senses. So that means that every time humans go through storms, it's a combination of two things. One, the physical body, the situation that looks obvious. But that in the realm of the spirit, there is a wind that gives that water life. That the water does not move on its own. It is sponsored by an agency. That the family problem is more than just two people. Are we together now? That the financial storm is not just about money, Naira and Kobo. Every storm is made of wind and water. Jesus did not only rebuke the wind. The Bible says he rebuked the raging of the water. And the Bible said they, like two living things, ceased. And there was calm. Jesus is teaching us how to calm storms. That every time there is a storm, number one, know that it only comes because you are moving forward. Let us go to the other side. You know, we have this mindset that every time storms come, sometimes they mean you are wrong. It may mean you are right. Jesus never said, let us go back. He did something about that situation. There are times that going back is not an option. You have the power to calm the storm. And that the first thing he did, just to encourage someone, that the first thing Jesus did was to rebuke the wind in that order. Because according to James 2 and verse 26, a spirit without a body is dead. Behind every body, there is a spirit component to it. Behind every situation as a body, there is a spirit component to it. So he rebukes the spirit. This is the same thing Jesus did also. When you read the 12th chapter of Luke, the Bible lets us know that one time um, he met a woman who had been stuck for 18 years, he said. And he said, woman, thou art loosed from your infirmity. And then when the woman was loosed, he now laid hands on her and straightened her. And said, ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, ought not this woman, she shouldn't be in this condition as a daughter of Abraham. There are storms that continue to rage. When God showed me that vision, I knew exactly what he was saying. There are many people who will focus on what is obvious. The financial issue, the marital issue, the career issue. You are just looking at the water, the raging of the water, but that the water in itself has a wind behind it. There is a spirit that is sponsoring that family catastrophe. There is a spirit. Listen very carefully. This is our generation that continues to ignore the reality of the spirit realm. It's amazing. How we try to ignore, we find a way of convincing ourselves that there are no spirit influences in the world of men. And if any is just mind, no, there are real spirits, they are alive. They influence people's finances, they influence marriages, they influence ministries, they influence results. Every time Jesus was going to handle issues, he dealt with the spiritual dimension first. And then he corrected the physical dimension. Are we together? That means adjusting things from the physical is a total waste of time. There are people who the solution to their problem is not counseling. The guy is not a thief as a habit. He's a thief as an influence. That's the reason why no matter where you hide what you hide, the spirit works like a prophetic spirit with word of knowledge. He will know where it was kept. That's not a habit. There are people like Jonah who are carrying all kinds of presents. 
that continue to program difficulties in their lives. Even something that should be easy, when it gets to your turn, it becomes horribly difficult. It's a spirit. When there is a raging storm, that the way to deal with it is to rebuke the wind, then rebuke the water, then both of them will be calm. You rebuke your child and you leave the wind, you are in trouble. Imagine that Jesus met the guy at Gadara and said, that's all right, no problem, just dress well and uh, behave yourself next time when you see me. No. Legion. Legion of devils in one man. And Jesus said, go out of this man now. And they left. And then the man, imagine the man taking his bath, a sound and a sane man coming back and you look at him and say ah, yesterday you were you were not like this and the man will say yes because it was me plus other entities see i have learned by experience and by scripture the the power of victory when realities in the realm of the spirit are settled is a total waste of time i am telling you to approach things purely from a scientific point or from a sociological point. At best, it can just provide temporary succor. But if it's the results you are looking for, all realities must first be settled in the realm of the spirit. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, starting says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It calls faith the evidence of things not seen. And then it says, for by it the elders obtained a good report. Verse 3 says, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. The second part is my interest. It says, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. That means the physical realm does not give birth to the physical realm. The physical realm is a child that comes from another dimension. Every good thing has an origin from the realm of the spirit. Every evil thing also has an origin from the realm of the spirit. Are we together? When a woman gives birth to a child, sorry to use this analogy, the child comes out and you notice there is an umbilical cord that connects into the woman. That umbilical cord is a testimony that that child started from within. Is that true? This is the same thing. Listen carefully. Every situation you see is like a baby. When you trace carefully, you will trace the umbilical cord and it will disappear. You will have to be spiritual to know where it extends to. And some spiritual umbilical cords are long because they come from regions that are very far. Hallelujah. But what does the doctor do to have the child completely free? He cuts it off, period. For as long as that umbilical cord is there, that connection remains. And then he cuts it off. This is exactly how it is. Stop approaching life just from the physical standpoint. I am telling you this. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. I have read my Bible and I have learned. Every flourishing ministry does not start just by an anointed man and chairs and members and keyboardists and intelligent speaking. No, sir. It starts from the realm of the spirit. There must be a testimony in the realm of the spirit that reflects in the physical. The book of Job, how did it start? The Bible says, once upon a time, the writer of Job gave us the duality of realms. We were able to see things from both realms. And the Bible says the whole story did not start just on earth. That the discussion started in the realm of the spirit, in the heavenlies. And a man came and was proposing all kinds of things. Satan, going to and fro. And God said, have you considered my servant Job? And Satan testified and said, well, I came to him and I found him fortified. 
And he said, is it for nothing that you cover this man? While that is happening in the realm of the spirit, Job gets up in the morning and he does not know that he's one week left for his tragedy to start. He's on earth. Hmm. Imagine the night before all his children will die and all his cattle. He was still the greatest man in the east. But overnight, when the realm of the spirit finishes something, it will take only God to correct it whatever happens in the physical realm is just acting believe me the same way from the foundations of the earth the lamb was already slain and so it will be impossible for it not to happen in the physical realm regardless of what satan did all the manipulations are we together the Bible says that God hath blessed us already with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. It's already done. That means the, the reality that these things have been established in the realm of the spirit should give us confidence. That for as long as we partner with God, inevitably, it must find expression in the physical realm. This I believe. Build the ministry from the realm of the spirit and watch what happens in the physical realm. Build the business from the realm of the spirit and what, what happens in the physical realm. Build the children from the realm of the spirit. The dedication I did for our little one here, that's what they did for many people. They dedicated them to idols and immediately the next week they went to America and never came to Nigeria again. Yet their lives continue to parallel somebody in the village although they're in America. Why? Because there was an authorization that the realm of the spirit will, should feel free to continue to create scenarios that draw people back. We are thriving and excelling because what you see is only a reflection. It has been finished already. The miracle service has been finished already in the realm of the spirit. The rejoicing version of you is already a reality in the realm of the spirit. Are you seeing that now? And that's why for as long as your heart is open and your faith can connect, inevitably you will see the hand of God. He said, who has believed our report to him, that man, the arm of the Lord has been made manifest. why do we call for these kinds of services they are not just moments to while away time there are several people outside everywhere thousands of people all around this ground and many more connecting around the world god is not stupid to gather a people some of you left this journey from maybe outside of this nation within this nation traveling risking your life to come and sit down would god be joking with you to bring you here Abba. i believe in jesus i believe in his power i believe that god can turn things around listen to me please i want to shake off unbelief from you I believe that God in a moment in a twinkling of an eye that a whole family can come and just sit in and say Lord can you turn our lives ha! do you know as a man of God I've been around this thing for a while and maybe a little while and I'm telling you myself even as a man who God has helped sometimes I am in awe and shock at the way God moves that someone can just come and sit in the presence of God, my brothers and sisters, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes like a drug, and that's it. You step up and doors open, just like that. It's like a dream. Everything you are looking for is also looking for you. Please hear me. Believe what I tell you. Everything you are looking for is looking for you if it has not gotten to you something stopped it i desired once and again to come to you but satan hindered us everything you are looking for is looking for you the breakthrough the lifting the anointing the new levels the increase the expansion 
it is God's will. His testament already tells us. There's no need going to prayer and say, is it God's will? No, the will of God is revealed through his word. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. And then scripture says, let God be true and that every man a liar. If you believe this about God, then you will also know that the Bible says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. Why? Because the things that are seen are temporal. What does temporal mean? Subject to change. Fading. But the things that are unseen are eternal. That means everything that does not represent the counsel of God can change can change it's a miracle that my life of lack can change are we together now my life of living from drug to drug from death sentence to death sentence can change so the question tonight is not can god do it no 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 the ministry of jesus captured all of this he preached he taught he healed the sick listen carefully he casted out devils he made for the provisions of people that there be supplies so i know god is able to do it please don't come sitting here tonight wondering i've gone to many churches you may say i've been prayed for by several people apostle you don't know the amount of vigils let me tell you something and i submit to you respectfully every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it listen very carefully don't generalize troubles every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it the anointing is like money if you have one thousand you have money but that money can only buy to the limit of one thousand and if what you need to buy is ten thousand you are in trouble you will need to add nine of what you already have in addition to what you have to make that a possibility So then death walks in us. That life will walk in you. My assignment is to continue to grow in the anointing. And to continue to grow in the revelation of the truth. Why? Because it is in that growth that more people's testimony is resident. That means the testimony that the level of grace I occupied three, four, five years could not produce. If it cannot produce that result till now, then I'm not growing. The problem is never with those who are having the challenge. You see, I continue to say this. The problem is not with members. It's not with the sick people. No. The problem is the limitation of the grace that is upon the person who is dispensing the word. It is true. Why do you call one doctor consultant and then you call another um, a resident doctor? What is the difference? They are all doctors. Is that true? Are they all doctors? I believe in the power of God. I truly believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Number one, because the Bible allows it. Number two, because this is how men know that Jesus is Lord. Listen to me. The demonstration of the power of God in miracles, signs, and wonders. No matter who argues around it is the authorized signature sign El Shaddai this is how he works when he moves upon the lives of people he leaves his signature there where the carcasses are they say that's where the eagles will gather please let me encourage you if you are a man of God here and you are here in this meeting please desire more than receiving a miracle desire a solid impartation of a real grace that is provable 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 no amount of poster would do the work of a real miracle no amount of handbill now i'm not being sarcastic will do the work of a real miracle a transformed life is a real miracle a healed body is a real miracle Hallelujah.
we have come here tonight to celebrate the hand of God resting upon people resting upon families some of you are here for the first time because through the messages and through testimonies you have heard that this is what god is doing now you are seated like somebody who is ready to watch a movie and you are wondering okay is my case too big will god be able to visit me ah. you know reminds me of how patients talk to doctors they believe that the doctor has never seen their problem. Say, doctor, you don't know the pain, eh? When I'm telling the doctor, I already know the situation. Don't just be patient. Say, don't allow me. Let, me. let me explain to you. Let me even try to turn and he's looking. And the man says, I was in medicine before you were born. I've met this kind of thing before. I know the solution. And sometimes the solution is funny. He can just give him a prescription. And he said, that's all. I thought I would be on admission. I said, no, no, it doesn't call for that kind of emergency just because you are threatened by the situation does not mean the situation is a threat no. no apostle you don't know the kind of financial trouble that is on my head that brought me here no it's a threat to you but it's not a threat find a way of believing what i'm saying because it is true the sun of righteousness is here with healing in his wings yeah. the son of righteousness is here with lifting in his wings yeah. the son of Righteousness is here with speed in his wings for someone's destiny. The son of righteousness is here with fire in his wings. The son of righteousness is here. With healing in his wings. Listen. When the Lord called me, I told him something. I said, Lord, I know how unfair it is to gather a people and not have the power to allow your might to be revealed in them. You know, most times there are people who just act as if once the people hear the revelation of the word is all right. Uh, if they are not changed, that's okay. No. I believe in miracles. I believe in the word becoming flesh. God reaching down to people. I believe in situations changing with proofs. Proofs. Your account, proof. Your destiny, proof. Everything with proof. And we will continue to thrive and push through and see to it that by the grace of God Almighty that we grow to realms in the spirit where every challenge that comes is within the jurisdiction of the grace provided to provide answers. That's what God does. You come and sit down in this atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen, and you are wondering, can God step into my situation? I love Jesus with all my heart. I have read the scripture. I have seen what God can do. Can God give me a job? Can God open a door? Can God put this anointing upon my life? Can God lift the death sentence over my life? Can God bring to end this age-long captivity that has tied the family? The answer is yes. Let me repeat the answer is yes god is able before god gathers a people like this he will check first whether he has the power to do it it is based on that conclusion that he gathers a people he will call a solemn assembly and say come and experience god hallelujah praise the lord so tonight i like your faith to be fired up don't don't allow the devil to reduce you to the realm of the flesh where you are wondering how can god make a way in the wilderness there are many ways god can deliver you from the wilderness he can leave the wilderness there and carry you that's method one number two 
which he can scatter every rock in the wilderness and make a road out of it three he can leave you there and carry the wilderness it doesn't matter how he does it the most important thing is you are separated from it look at the size of your challenge the heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool footstool hallelujah it is footstool please help those here the power of god i just saw light just flashing here two people just here the power of god is touching them the lord straight up is visiting them and for one i'm seeing god remove something that looks like a growth around the stomach i command that growth to go now in the name of jesus there are two of them there's two i saw two lights so just this way and it's a ministry of the spirit you see two lights there is there is one something is coming out of the stomach is what i'm seeing um i don't know what it is looking like but it's looking like a thread just coming out of the stomach lord we believe in you lord we believe in you there is a man of god here the power of god is coming on him you are in ministry you are a man of god I just saw it by the Spirit. Let me tell you why these things happen. Look up, please. Let me teach you something. Don't worry about the time. I just want to show you something in two minutes. I just fell to digress. You see, all you see is not all there is. When God calls a man, there is not only an anointing there is an office and there is a throne that defends what he represents there are certain operations of the spirit that are not only products of the anointing no there are certain operations that are legislations it is not the anointing that makes it happen there is an office in the realm of the spirit recognized accredited by god allocated for that grace and that office please listen understand what i'm teaching you so that when words come like this i'm not trying to transfer the anointing to the person to make it happen no 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 there are times that that happens try to understand what i'm teaching you there are things that are, they are governmental legislations. You see, let me tell you, there is growth in the spirit. And people can grow to realms where certain privileges are given to them. What was the privilege of the man with the parable of the five, two, and one talent? He said, I set thee over kingdoms. What kingdoms? That was the reward he got. A ranking in the spirit that means I extend your dominion that these other kingdoms they also come under the influence of your speaking that means you can declare things when I started out in ministry I would not minister that way because it was not by this this grace for legislature it was just about the anointing being properly channeled but now that's not just the issue now no at that level you will not be able to minister to a crowd like this you see that so when i declare and i speak sometimes it is not just an anointed man speaking no there are speakings that come from the anointing but there are speakings that come by reason of the office that speaks the centurion said i am a man under authority authority there is a government there i am a captain i have an allocation in the army there are people who must hear me because i am under that grace that means there are things that can be called listen if i am walking if I am working in a restaurant and I am the manager in that restaurant now whether I can cook or not 
I am the manager. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that means there are certain privileges that can happen. Is that true? It is within my power to tell you, come and sit down in that restaurant. Please serve him. You see that? I cannot cook physically, but I occupy a position that has a cook under me. I can make his grace work for you. This is what I'm saying. I'm not the one who prepared the food. But there is somebody who can cook. But both the cook and all of this is within. The restaurant was given to my care. Let me tell you what this means. Please listen. And, and I'm careful to say this because many young people, once they get these kinds of things, they usually will not understand what the man of God is saying. And they will go online and start writing things that are er erroneous. Let me tell you this. There is an office you can occupy that the grace must not be on you to reach people. That means if Pastor Femi has a grace for prayer and you need it, I can grow to a point in the spirit whereby the power of submission, I, me, a man, I can take the grace on him for prayer because it is needed and it is part of the apostolic duty to see that this guy's prayer life is on. I can partner with the Holy Spirit and take the grace for prayer that is on him. I may not have it as a person, but because he needs that grace, God can use me to take that grace and place it on someone. It's true. We remain humble before God and we thank him for the things that he continues to provide. But let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, men are not just men. This is a revelation that is very, is very difficult to understand, but it's powerful when understood. So when God gathers us like this, God will not bring you to a place that cannot bless you. No, God does not work like that. He will first check your problem before directing you. So if he allowed you to come, it is because he has checked. It's like a checklist. And he said, no, no, no. The grace for your problem is here. Go, you can go. The same way you apply for admission, you first check whether the course you want, do they offer it? Just because they don't offer your course does not mean they are not a university. There are times that only one university is offering a particular course and you will travel and go down there. Why? Because you want to access it. This is how these things are spiritually too sometimes. Doesn't mean that we're the only ones doing what we're doing. That would be pride and that would be untrue. But let me tell you something. That as God continues to engrace us, then he provides a platform and an opportunity for the anointing to step. I know that not many of us are sick, crippled and all of that. So it's difficult because you may not see visible signs immediately. But the anointing comes on you and then you can go. As you go, you, you know what is on you by what starts to change. So you're a man of God. You go back. Ah, I came to Zaria. It was a powerful meeting. And then God leads you to certain people. And for the first time, you are surprised. You are talking to the person and you are hearing names that you don't know. You are saying, okay, I used to just think these things are intuition. So the speakings of God can be this clear. I can know it this much. Tonight is not only a night of deliverance. Tonight is not only a night of healing. Tonight is not only a night to calm storms. Tonight is a night of receiving. I really believe that impartations to receive, to receive. You have to add to the grace that is upon your life already. Grace and peace be multiplied. If you stay where you are, you will not grow in results. Grace and peace be multiplied. You are a prayer warrior. You are, the, you are a leader in a group. You remain at that level. Everybody will go and leave you there. And they will not listen to you again. That's the truth. Because they have exhausted the level of grace. It's not that they don't want to love you. You have to grow. So take away your mind from anything that can distract and focus on God. Place something upon my life. Lord, you have come. Put something upon my life. Put something upon my destiny. And if you came here as a family, put something, oh God, upon our family. Son of 
Righteousness is he with fire in his eyes. The Son of Righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Hallelujah. Who is Deborah overflow one? Just we're going to be very fast tonight. Deborah, someone in overflow one, Deborah. We're going to pray. Deborah, she's at the back. You are wearing something on your head, you are tying something on your head outside. Overflow one, son of righteousness is here. Healing in his wings. Son of righteousness is me. I'm going to pray. But the person I'm seeing is wearing traditionals. It's like it has a little of maroon touch on it. Traditionals. This is what I'm seeing. I will pray for you. The son of righteousness is here. When you find such, if there's, if there's nobody like that, no problem. My dear, where are you coming from? Zaria, I want to pray for you. Look at me, your life will so change this night, it will surprise you. There is a God in heaven. I'm seeing you crying, and the Lord is wiping your tears completely, just by His Spirit. He's wiping. Where are you from? The mic is not working. Find out why, please. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release you, my dear. Deborah is your name. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I release you from captivity. I set you free by the Spirit of the living God. I'm seeing something that has tied you huh? from head to toe. But the Lord is saying to release you. And I declare to you by the Spirit of the living God that God now is releasing you completely by the Spirit of the living God. Releasing you right now. My dear... Where are you coming from? Outside? Your name is Deborah. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus. Who is that? Her name is Deborah. Where was she? Outside? What's wrong with her? Huh? Why? How long, madam? Madam, you feel pain in your back? Yes, sir. Severe pain? Yes, sir. Where? Here, like this. From my back. We're going to pray for the sick. Huh? So, when we pray for the sick, you will come out and I'll pray for you. Okay? You came with her? You're her daughter? Who are you? Just a friend that came. You're a nice lady. Come. What, do you, what are you trusting God for? Huh? A life partner i love you you're a very honest and sincere lady and i'm going to pray for you huh? hold my hands father honor your word in the name of jesus christ give this lady a very godly man by the spirit of the living god find somewhere for her let her sit down we are going to pray i want to pray we are going to do a very quick walk tonight the power of god is coming on someone around the worship team here i just saw just like light I don't know who that person is, but I just saw light around the worship team. We are going to pray. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry, Lord, visit me. Please pray quickly. Lift your voice and pray.
make sure you pray something must come upon your life tonight coming from come this lady you yes where are you coming from you are schooling here from where your state you are from Kaduna state where are your loved ones tell them the month of November is a month of breakthrough for your family huh? that's what God is telling me to tell you November is a very strange month of breakthrough. Huh? Your dad. That's what I'm saying. Something would have happened to someone this November, but the Lord is saying November is a month of breakthrough for your family. In the name of Jesus, I declare and I prophesy to you, let it come to an end now. The spirit that kills people by November it comes to an end now I command by the spirit of the living God the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty let it end let it be over right now let it be over right now Father, I pray tonight in the name that is above all names, that your mighty power in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, that it be made manifest across this place. Let yokes be lifted, let burdens be lifted, let all kinds of yokes be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen, please. I want to pray for you. Please pay attention. Focus on Jesus. It is not just a call to have people fall under the anointing. No. I want to pray and minister the power of God. That if there is anything at all within this circumference that is not of the Christ. That as we pray, the power of God comes upon you. Please, we'll, have, we'll make it very fast and the ushers will bring them out. We are going to shout that name that is above all names. It's not a ritual. Wherefore, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name father in the name of jesus i pray that you will honor your word and honor your name at the count of three together as a family of faith we are going to shout that name already i'm telling you i see fire just like rain but it's the rain of fire coming on people to end all kinds of oppressions at the count of three one two three shout jesus that every power that is not of God go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the name that is above all names I decree and declare the forces of ancestry yokes of darkness please bring them out quickly 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 we're praying again hear me the bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered you are going to shout that name again not just for yourself not just for your family that everything that is not by the christ he must give way right now i speak to principalities and powers and thrones and dominions and every name that is named are you ready to shout now at the count of three one two three shout jesus 
Release them now. Release them now. 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 Release their destinies. Ke paruta shalabakata. Ke pose kete kete prakata. By the blood, release them now. The Bible says, even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Was you praying? You're going to shout two more times. This is the second to the last time. The Lord wants to end patterns. Something that happened to someone. Your mother is now happening to you. Your mother was raped. You are now being raped. Your father failed. You now failed. In the name of Jesus, I declare. Now, this one, I see fire coming on several people. Inside and outside. Lord, I pray. Anyone here who is a victim of patterns. Strengthened by spirit. At this shout, oh God, let there be deliverance. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. Repeatable patterns that tie people down. Outside, inside. Be free now. Everyone who is under the influence of any strange spirit, whether here or any of the overflows, I declare to those spirits, the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I speak by the anointing in the name of Jesus, that these spirits let them go and release the families. All those in front here, at the count of three, release them, release their families. One, two, three, go now, go, 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 go. The woman holding photo, there's a woman here holding a picture. There's a woman holding a picture. Come, madam. Let every other name fade away. Come, madam. Let every other name fade away. Till there's only you. Jesus, take your place. Just take your place. Madam, where are you coming from, ma? From Port Harcourt. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a stronghold of witchcraft across your family. But the Lord is saying, these are your children. Where are they? Your children, I'm seeing two of your children in the U.S. Is the mic working? It's not working. Is it working? Please help us. Let there be someone who is... Huh? I'm seeing two of your children in U.S. How many of them are in U.S.? Okay, three of them in U.S. Who is in U.K.? Where is the one in U.K.? There's one in U.K. Listen to me, madam. God is going to come upon your family and bring rest roundabout rest roundabout in the name of Jesus madam I lay my hands on you and upon this request turn every captivity my God to become like the streams of Negev, the Negev be free now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ over now the power of God will touch them in the US in the UK I bring liberty to this family right now in the name of Jesus Christ Um, my friend, this man, please just clear the way for me. The man with gray hair just near this one. Come, sir. Let 
Let every other name fade away. Where are you coming from, sir? Niger State. From Niger State. Are you a man of God? What do you do? I'm a pastor. You are a pastor. Where? I have a ministry. Point of joy ministry. You have a ministry. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing a serious embargo. First on your life and then on your ministry. I don't know you, sir. I've not seen anything around you. But I want to pray. Because I am seeing, number one, God is taking away this embargo upon your life. But number two, I'm seeing that God is granting you the spirit of revelation. Amen. The revelatory grace. Amen. Revelatory dimension of the anointing. Amen. And then I'm also seeing God raising financial support. Help us. Amen. Very strong pillars for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can I pray for you, sir? Is it alright if right. I pray for you? Right. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. I hope you're not embarrassed that I pray for you. No, no, no. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this servant of God. Sir, in the name that is above all names, I speak to you because you believe. May the Lord shift you to a new dimension of ministry. Let the grace for revelation rest mighty upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare to you, God will raise strange financial helpers to attend to your needs. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is? I'm hearing. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. We have to hurry up, but I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Of course, I can imagine that there will be so many people with that name, but we have to hurry up because I want to pray. Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. And the Lord wants to minister to that person now, please. Every foul spirit. There is a family here. You are from Zonkua. Zonkua should be Southern Kaduna. Is that? Zonkua. Where are you? Please verify. Let's, let's make sure that. You are a family. It's not just one person. I'm not just saying one person who came. There are many people who came who are from Zonkua. We're in Kaduna State. I'm saying a family. This is what God is revealing to me. Let me pray for you. You came out for Ezekiel. I want to pray for you. What do you do, my friend? You are, you are brothers? Ezekiel, I will pray for you. I, of course, I will pray generally, but it, it may not necessarily be for everybody. My friend, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, please, hold on. I hope, I hope, there's, there's why they are coming out. Why, why are all of you out for Ezekiel's? Okay, I'll pray for you. The Lord is asking me to do something except that the Lord said so. I wouldn't have done it. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm seeing at least eleven people when I pray for them. Please don't be embarrassed. The addiction of smoking um, either drugs or this um, uh, all these things that they smoke they are, I'm seeing at least 11 people and the Lord is saying he wants to deliver them now now in this place I'm going to pray for these gentlemen but I'm going to ask those people listen there's nothing to be embarrassed about I, like I said I would not call you to embarrass you but God is showing me both men and women not only women addicted to smoking this codeine or, or cocaine or whatever it is drugs the lord wants me to pray for those people so i'll immediately i pray for this i will call you please leave your friend leave whatever you are doing and you'll come and stand and i'll pray for you my friend let me pray for you in the name of jesus i declare that god is lifting you in the name of jesus christ god is lifting you by the power of the holy spirit and that everything that does not represent the counsel of God, let it live your life right now. And for all of you who stood in for the name Ezekiel, I pray for you. My friend, look at me. God is visiting your family, eh? You. is visiting your family in a very strange way. This, it will not reach weekend next week before you start getting testimonies. Amen. 
This thing I'm telling you is less than one week. Write it down. I speak to you by the Spirit of God. May the Lord honor this word. And for all of you who are standing in for Ezekiel, in the name of Jesus, everything around your life that is not the planting of the Lord, be delivered right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Was was well from Zonkwasa. Are you a family? Yes, God, it's not family. This is our father, but he cannot speak English. No problem. He's welcome. Please come. Let him come. No, don't don't let the children who cry. Their ch is it the same family? Yes. Uh, don't worry. I'll pray for you. And this one's too. And your children, madam. What do you do, ma? You are a nurse. I will pray for you, oh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, turn this woman's life around. Amen. And turn the life of her children around. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Um, who is what he speaks your language? You okay, when I talk to you, don't worry, you don't have to give up. When I talk to you, you will, you will interpret to him. Eh? Tell him that I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. And that this thing has been responsible for the retrogression of everybody within this family. That people rise in this family just when they should sit down. They either die or go down. He must graduate from school before he died. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I'm seeing that this is yes. what happens. Yes. Just when people should he settle down. My brother, yes. Our first born, he graduated this? from school before he died. Is your father? Yes. Is he your brother? Yes, he's my brother. Okay. Oh, please, someone help us and attend to these children, please. These are your, don't worry, my dear. There's no need to shout. Please tell him that there is a name that is above every other name. And that I'm going to pray right now. And no matter how long it has stayed, this entire family must be set free. Can I pray? What do you do? This student. Where? Maybe. You love Jesus. I love Jesus. You are going to be an evangelist. Thanks to him. I don't know yes. him. I don't know anything. I'm just, I'm just telling you that this man, I'm seeing by the spirit, this, this boy you are seeing is going to be a mighty man of God, an evangelist. Hold my hands. I release you into this grace. May this anointing take you to dimensions untold. In the name of Jesus Christ, fresh grace for prayer. Fresh grace for the word. I shift you by the spirit into these dimensions. Now I pray for this family and every other family that has this kind of thing. That there are forces that sit on people's destinies. Just when people should sit down, they crash down. In the name that is above all names. I declare be free now. Be free now. Help this girl. Be free now. Every spirit. Look at the children. I curse this spirit now. Now, out of this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. I release this family from the spirit of death. And the influences of the grave. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. And let me prophesy to any other family here. That is under this kind of yoke. In the name of Jesus, come out of it now. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Please, they can go back to their seat. Now, I want to pray. Our time is gone. We must hurry up tonight. But the Lord is showing me people who want to be delivered from this addiction to drugs and smoking. Listen, no, everybody here is a product of God's mercy. There's no such thing as anybody. There are not many times I do this, but I have to obey what God is. Are you here for that case? Huh? Okay. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. So please, I'm going to give one minute. Whether you are in overflow three,
overflow, 2B, 2C, 4, wherever, or in here, you know that some people are not bad. They are not bad people. They just need to be free. Please run and come and stand here right now. You are addicted to all of these drugs. Don't be looking at anybody to say, so this one is none of your business. Please celebrate everyone. It takes a lot of courage for them to come. Are you clapping for them? Everyone, please. There are still more people because I saw a number of people in my vision as God was speaking to me. You love the Lord, but this addiction. See, these addictions are spirits. It's not about somebody being good or bad. Look at them coming. It's not, look, let me tell you the truth. Addiction is something that is, there is a spirit behind it. Please keep coming. Be bold and come and stand. God will set you free from it. Son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Hey, hey, hey. The son of righteousness is he with healing in his wings. Please hurry up. I'm about to pray for them now. So if you belong to that category, if your friend is stopping you, leave that friend and come and stand. Nobody is condemning you. It's an addiction. It's a spirit. When you see the kinds of people coming, some of them are better than you in terms of character. It's a spirit. We have to deal with this thing because it's killing people everywhere. Some of you just have dreams and right from the realm of dreams, you cannot resist it again. I want to pray a serious prayer for you. Jesus is here. Some of you were doing well. You were excelling even in life academically until that spirit just came. And it just brought you down. I want to pray for you. Some of you were introduced to it by friends. Friends. They brought you together. Gave you those things. Look at people coming. Let's celebrate them. Young and old. This is not an issue for young people. Young and old. All together. God is setting people free. Listen. Let me tell you. Sincerely. I love every one of you. And I know that many people would not have one tenth the courage to come and stand. This is a family. Nobody dares condemn you. You are products of his grace. The Lord wants to set you free once and for all. Hallelujah. Now listen, let me tell you this. Remember the teaching that I gave you. I told you that every storm is calmed by rebuking the wind and rebuking the water. It is not what you hold and smoke or what you swallow that is the issue. There is a spirit. No amount of guidance and counseling will solve the problem. You will need to be delivered and I want to pray for you. Praise the Lord. There are two things I want you to do for me. One, when I pray for you, you have a responsibility to let some of the association, because I know how addictive these associations are, tell them that Apostle Joshua Selman prayed for you and trust God for grace to leave them alone. Come to the house of God and make good friends. Are we together? You are not free when your association is not free. Because some of you, you probably have made attempts before, but you will go back and you will meet those people and they will laugh at you and say, forget about that nonsense. So you have to trust God for grace. But let me pray for you. Please lift your hand if you can. Some of you are here. Some of you are standing for your children. Some of you are standing for your loved ones. I know that not all of you are standing for yourself. Father, you gave this as a revelation. There are many people under the addiction of strange spirits. And Lord, I stand right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I declare that in the frontier from my left to my right, let the angel of deliverance move right now across this place. 
and caught the help them please my god and caught this change i'm praying for all of you in front now the legal basis upon which this spirit operate by the blood of the eternal covenant i break that legal hold now i break that legal hold now the spirit of addiction to drugs be free from it now be free from it now in the name of jesus christ listen i pray for every one of you hear me i'm saying it again i don't care how it came into your life it leaves you now and forever it leaves you now and forever any association that the devil uses to keep you here in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost i set you free from them forever I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that you are free. Say after me, all of you in front. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I stand by the blood of Jesus. And I declare that from tonight and forever, I am free from any and all forms of addiction. I declare that from tonight addiction to drugs addiction to anything that is not of the Christ it leaves my life now and every spirit behind it I command you to let me go now I declare my liberty I declare that I am free in Jesus name let it be so for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm speaking to you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. No one condemns you. We stand as a family. We stand by you. And we agree as a family of faith. You are free from this nonsense this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Let's celebrate them. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Let's celebrate them. hallelujah now don't be embarrassed i'm going to pray from here but i'm seeing a spirit on a lady it is only married men that look for you only married men a young gentleman who can settle down with you will never be interested in you but a man who is already married that's the one who will look for you in the name of jesus whether in this auditorium overflow one two three whoever is standing under the influence of that spirit i'm declaring right now by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now shout aloud amen be free now please help that girl be free now i'm still praying i'm, I'm still sensing this anointing is still is like he's moving and searching for people i say it again that anointing that grace whatever it is that makes only married men to look for you in the name that is above all names be free now be free now the lord is showing me a door in the spirit and i'm seeing that door closed before we pray for the sick the Lord is saying to open that door. I believe that there are many people. It represents the next level of several people's lives. I stand right now. My God, I'm seeing rain just coming on people. My God, the King of glory, I declare. Everybody who is standing in front of a closed door, I speak to that door, be open now. Be open now. Bring this woman for me. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh.
Who came with this woman? Who came with this madam? She came on her own. Because the kind of breakthrough I see God bringing for this woman will surprise you. Madam, I don't know you, but in a name that is above all names, you came with her? From where? Here. In the name of Jesus, madam, I don't know you, but I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every closed door before you, I command that door to be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus Christ. Be open in the name of Jesus. As I pray for her, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every spirit that is not of God to leave this lady. Look at her tearing her clothes. You see how these wicked spirits walk. Listen, let me tell you something. Deliverance, look at me. Deliverance is not just the issue of shouting and demons rolling up, up and down. No. Now, you can see this girl. Imagine that she's your fiancé and your wedding is next week. You see what we're saying? I, I'm not saying she's a bad person. Please, don't. Mm -mm. But you, the spirit will not shout when they are joining you. It's when you have gotten married, you see these wicked manifestations. Now, the Lord is that spirit. And the spirit, where the spirit of the Lord is. Are you looking for a job? Who is looking for it? I'm seeing, hold on please. Listen, um, my sister, please shift for me. This fair lady, where are you coming from? Kaduna? Yes, sir. Come and stand here. I'm seeing someone shaking your hands that you got a job. Are you looking for a job? Let us stand up. Are you looking for a job? Yes, sir. Hear the word of the Lord. I'm telling you, I'm seeing God giving you a job that will surprise you. There's, there's no need to cry. God is here to roll away reproach and to take away shame. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus, according to this that the Lord has revealed, you will come and stand here and you will testify of your job. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God come upon you and set you free right now. Now, very quickly, we are going to do two things. Please, if how many of you have written your prayer request? If you have written your prayer request, please bring it out. If you have not written it, take time to write very quickly now. Um, what is, I'm hearing Baba Silas. What is Baba Silas? Baba Silas. I don't know if that is a name or that's a name of somebody's father. Baba Silas is what I'm hearing. If there is such a person, let me just talk to the person. Now, quickly, please submit your prayer requests. Um, there will be ushers, PR, help them, or whatever department. Huh? What? Give him the mic. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Your brother is Silas. I'm hearing you is Baba Silas. I will pray for you. Why are they coming out, please? Huh? Your father is Silas. We'll pray for you. Let me just touch you and then you go back. Let it be over in Jesus' name. Whatever it is you are standing in for, let it be over in Jesus' name. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ by the anointing of the Holy Spirit over forever in the name of Jesus whatever the challenge is over forever in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free from sickness they will not say you have fibroid I curse that devil that lady you are carrying I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ alright please all those listen please we are going to pray for the sick now um there are so many people tonight and we have to be fast our time is gone but let me say this whether you are in overflow one or two or three if you are coming here particularly trusting god for fruit of the womb whatever overflow no matter how far i want you to come into this main auditorium because i will pray for you um alongside them all those who are trusting god for healing please come and stand now overflow one please move to your projector stand um, protocol will have to help me. How many overflows do we have tonight? There are so many. 
Father, this Egyptian that I see today, I see them no more forever. Is someone stretching your hands? Pray, pray, don't look around, pray. Yeah. Unto you that answers prayer, shall all flesh come. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. In the name of Jesus, wipe tears. In the name of Jesus, let impossible situations turn around. Declare it. Those online follow us as we pray. We prophesy upon these requests. We pray over your request. The name that is above all names, the God of miracles. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed, hallowed. service is a very powerful part. People have recorded unspeakable testimonies, turnarounds by the hand of God. Father, I bow my knees in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the grace that you have supplied. I bring before you, O oh God, the pain, the tears, the requests of your people. They have brought this as a token of their faith, as proof that they believe you. Lord, you do these things because you love us, but you also do it to honor our faith. Therefore, Lord, I stand in agreement with the Spirit and I declare that every situation represented here turns into a testimony now. Every situation represented here by the God of heaven turns into a testimony now. Whoever must lose sleep for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must hear instructions from God for this request to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must be lifted for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered, we declare it so. Father, I cry in your name. Let this not just be a ceremony tonight. Your people have waited, your people have prayed. Honor the faith of everyone here with strange results in the name of Jesus. There are situations here that need creation. It does not yet exist in the earth realm. We call it from the realm of the spirit to appear in the physical realm. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, there are situations here that only you can solve. Some of them are death sentences. Some of them are issues that relate to life and destiny. We cry to you, O God of heaven, arise tonight and do strange miracles. 
that by this time next miracle service some people will only write to intercede for others in the name of jesus christ please keep standing everybody keep standing i want to pray for you now thank you for your patience but i want to speak over your life and i want you to believe every word blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance i prophesy to you number one doors be open now doors be open now gates be open now gates be open now everyone here in ministry i stretch my hands towards you the fire the grace shalakatoskia the unction for a new level the operation of the gifts of the spirit the operation of revelatory dimensions step into it now in the name of jesus step into it now in the name of jesus let me pray over your finances this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness i stand by the god of heaven and i declare by the power of prophecy supernatural supplies for you supernatural supplies by the wisdom of god every pit you have found yourself in in the name of jesus come out of that pit now come out of that pit now come out of that pit now i pray for every family here that has not yet seen the goodness of god in experience this year i speak to you by the power that raised christ from the dead you will return here with strange testimonies everything that is yours but is not yet in your hands i stand by the god of heaven and by prophecy wherever it is i command you to locate your hand and your destiny i command you to locate your hand and your destiny i pray for those trusting god for jobs father you are the one who gives jobs i declare that between now and the next one month oh god of heaven let us have strange testimonies of miracle jobs strange testimonies of miracle jobs i'm praying for everybody but this prayer particularly is for the men the grace that establishes a man that can grant you stability whether financially structurally may that grace please believe it may that grace land on your life now structural establishment in the name of jesus christ every dying business in the mighty name of jesus hear the word of the lord i speak by the spirit let it jack back to life now I pray for your prayer life the fire you have not seen from january even up until september the grace to fast the grace to travel wherever you are let it rest upon your life now i pray for you access to the mysteries of the kingdom the grace that can open a man's eyes to scripture that you will see it may that grace rest upon you now every opportunity that once came to you but was not well utilized and has left you in the name of jesus and by the mercy of god i stand tonight and i call for a repeat of it a repeat of that opportunity a repeat of that opportunity may god restore time may god restore opportunities 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of your family members that has been grounded for whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, as you are standing here, may the angel of the Lord, wherever they are across this nation or around the nations of the world, may the angel of the Lord ensure that in this season they are lifted. I declare that they are lifted. Anyone called barren, whether biological barrenness, financial barrenness, ministerial barrenness, I speak to you, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue. I say it again, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue. Every helper of destiny that must show up in this season for you to rise, wherever they are, I cry unto my God, who is your God? In the name of Jesus, may they appear before your destiny. Hallelujah. Some of you have been at the same level. You have not gone down, but you have not gone up either. In the name of Jesus, this night, I push you by prophecy. Step into the next level. Help them, please. Step into the next level of your life. This is the month of September. When a woman is pregnant, after nine months, she's supposed to give birth. And if she does not give birth, the doctors have a way of inducing the birth. In the name of Jesus, everything in the loins of prophecy are located for you to be born in this season. I speak to you as a spiritual midwife, deliver in the name of Jesus. Everybody who spoke evil to the ears of your destiny helper that people who should lift you but because they had an information about you in the name of Jesus by the blood I declare a reconnection I declare a reconnection our time is gone but please believe this these are not empty words they are not empty words at all let me pray for your finances again this is what is squeezing people down, squeezing families down. People are giving up on God because of tea and bread, because of the necessities of life. Listen, Koinonia, I put a mark of exemption in this season over you. Hear me? I command poverty to leave you like the day leaves the night in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the beginning of the ember months where the spirit of death moves upon families. People who have labored when it's now time to reap, they will say obituary, survive by. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. I forbid the earth from receiving your body. Listen, and for those of you appointed unto death, whether for you or your loved ones by the name of Jesus Christ we extend your life in this place I pray for every student here I don't know what may be happening around your academics but if it requires change we change it now if it requires upgrade, we upgrade it now. If it requires justice, we administer justice now. If it requires mercy, we provoke mercy now. And everyone who is in final year here, we graduate you in the name of Jesus Christ.
two more prayers and we are done. Everything that represents delay, stagnation, or limited progress, the chain that will allow you to move but not so far, I break that chain now in the name of Jesus. I release you make progress. I release you make progress. I release you make progress. Last prayer point. Listen to me. Honor is better than money. You can have money and not have honor. Honor is better than education. You can be educated and not have honor. The Bible says, and Jabez, not was more anointed, was more honorable than his brethren. The grace that makes for honor, that can pick you out of a crowd and separate you. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you now. adding one prayer point to my, my, my spirit and we have to pray it and the sons of Issachar that they were men who had understanding of the times listen I want to release grace for discernment it's important to know you can miss seasons just because you are not alive you can they will come back but it will take a long time but I pray for you, the grace for discernment, to know seasons, receive that grace now. Maybe I should add one more prayer point. Some of you are praying, Lord, where do I go from here? Should I travel out of the country? Should I relocate to Abuja? Should I go to Lagos? See, Destiny decisions are never to be taken carelessly. Please hold on, hold on. Relax with this thing. You are praying. Listen, there are destiny decisions in life that you need the help of God. Who to marry? Where to live? How many children to give birth to? It looks natural, but it's spiritual. You can give birth to what will fight your blessing. Who to associate with? And Lot went with him. And Jonah went with them. Their experiences were not the same. I pray for you. That in the matters of destiny. May the veil. The haziness. Let it be torn into pieces tonight. I know a gentleman who had an evangelistic call. Sincere person with an evangelistic call. He went to open a church and he began to struggle to pieces as if God did not send him. No offering, no support, no open door. He was struggling because the pastoral grace was not there. Well intentioned, but no discernment. Again, I pray for you. Whatever you are doing now, that is not in the blueprint of your destiny. Whether ministerially speaking, business-wise, maritally speaking, I declare a correction now. I declare a correction now. Elijah was asked to wait at Bucheri for a season, not forever. And a raven brought bread, food for him, and he drank from the brook. But a time came when the brook dried. God needed to change strategy. If Elijah did not know he would die there, the same God can help you for 10 years. But by the 11th year, you would change strategy. And if you cannot discern what blessed you before can kill you, I pray for you. The grace to know when to switch. The grace to know when God is saying something else. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. Let the name of the Lord be glorified forever and ever. Jesus remains Lord.